I see something. It's a, it's Total on the yeah 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 yeah. Total disaster. Yeah, it's that's the, what I made. Uh, yep yep yep. Good yeah, good yeah. good job, Jack. Good good job. Yeah, nice yeah, nice yeah, title. Yeah, but you yeah. gotta get off the weapon with uh, the yeah, that, that, screen. Though. That's the first thing. That's the first that's title. The thing you thought I, got. Of? I don't get nothing else with it. I ain't got no gameplay. All right, All right whatever, it's, man. It's a, it's a, let's hit the like button. We in here, okay? Jack got it. Yeah, we are. Is it working, dog? God damn. I just got a uh, optimum. Online can go to hell. That's that's really what I want to say. Like they can go to hell, bro. <laughs> WWE okay, total disaster. No, nah, no, nah, no. You need to title it. F -op you need to say F Optimum Online. That's what the title no, is. They, the they title. owe me, right, they owe me money. I got murder beef now. I got murder beef with them now, bro. Like, yeah, that's why I can't wait to get out of here. I'm 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 ready to move just for this internet, bro. Because this is not it, bro. Well, you know your wife wanted to move to Houston, but you said no. No, she she doesn't. We're not moving to Houston. Wow. Now, we're moving in, we, are, we are moving in a few months, and we getting out of this 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 bandwidth ghetto because I'm in the bandwidth ghetto right now. <laughs> I know they owe you some bread though. You got to make sure you call them and complain about that. They getting a nice phone call tomorrow, bro, because they doing me wrong. Yeah, I don't deserve gonna, this. They gonna talk to you real nice after you tell them that. Well, since since we here, uh, we probably just gonna skip over all the small stuff and just get right to the main stuff. Um, Smooth, you want to talk about the medium? Because I'm assuming you're probably the only one who played it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, did did anybody else play it? No. Nah. No. Nah. Nope. Nope. Okay. Like I said, go ahead, Smooth. Tell us about the medium. <laughs> Okay, I, I don't know how some shit get on my timeline, bro. All right. Um, yeah, so the medium uh, game just came out. It's available for Game Pass if you're on Xbox, if you're on PC, Xbox Series, uh, that is. But um, it's by a uh, blooper team. This team is responsible for games like Blair Witch, which is trash, Layers of Fear, which I'm not really feeling, Observer, which is trash. Um, so... Obviously, the medium is here. It has some hype behind it. Personally, you guys know I've been consistently like sort of level-headed <laughs> with this game. Um, but it has come. It has released. And um, I will say it is a... It, I think it's a, a very good game. And it's definitely Blooper Team's best work to date. Mm. Um, it's about you're playing as uh, Marion. She's a medium, but her... But her, I guess her real life job, I think she's a, I want to say she's a mortician. She works in a funeral home, but she has the ability to communicate with the dead um, and enter different realms. And what she does uh, when she's, you know, speaking to the dead, she's helped people cross over and shit like that. Um, and in this game, she's pretty much called to, you know, pretty much back to her past to solve some issues that's going on. Um, a lot of details get uncovered. Um, I'm very vague right now because it, it'll be a spoiler for those who, you know, obviously are in a we don't, game. We don't, or we, nobody cares. You can spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. It's it's a great game. I think. Um, but no, overall, no, it's, it, I recommend people, you know, play the game. It's a, uh, how can I say it? It's not like an, it's a, it's a psychological thriller. I mean, some people want to call it a walking sim, a puzzler, whatever. Um, it's a little bit of, of pretty much both. Um, you do, there's a lot of um, activity that you are doing. It is a bit of a learning curve to like play because the game doesn't hold your hand, which I applaud it for, but David Jaffe was complaining about it. <clears throat> so, but the game doesn't hold your hand and you kind of just kind of, once they let you know how to do something, it's, you're on your own for the rest of the game. Um, and I think the game is very sophisticated in some of the puzzles and some of the figuring out and um the concepts that they had going on for it um like i said if you if you got on pc or xbox i give it a try it's on game pass it's These not a big all the things you said you kind of didn't like about resident evil no 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 i don't like resident evil no 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 not holding i'm not stuck on a puzzle at resident evil the thing about resident evil is one i don't like managing my weapon inventory just give me a weapon wheel and i'm good with that i don't want to have to trade something or use something just to get a weapon wheel you get four weapon spots yes it's just not a real weapon wheel it's the it's unintended yes Oh, no, it's right. that's a white inventory. It's I'm liking this. Cross. This is on brand. <laughs> it's a weapon cross, not a wheel. No. It, 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 it's 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 a shitty ass inventory system that they got. Um, I I, I just can't get into. Uh, and, and the medium is nothing like Resident Evil, with the exception of it uses like the same camera view 
in some cases as the original Resident Evil game where it's like a fixed camera angle. So you don't control the camera. You just control, you know, the character. Um, so it, it, I guess it pays homage to classic Resident Evil. And I, I, some people say a Silent Hill, but I've never really played a Silent Hill game like that. So um, I think the music is dope. I think the story was dope. They did a good job with that. Voice acting. They got a lot of uh, familiar uh, names and faces in this game. Um, it's not hurting there. The only flaw is really with the game was more so performance related. Um, yeah, what's up with these weak ass developers R- running at 900p on a Series X? All right, so the game is all right. It's not running 900p. That's just the lo- it, it, the lowest huh? point it can hit when it's doing the split screen. Um, it, the game is it's uh, the the DRS on that game is just made. It's literally as high as native 4K or as low as 900p. Uh, and for the Series S, it's as high as 1080p, as low as uh, 648p. But those oh numbers, God. those not, that 900p number is extremely, extremely rare. Okay. And you would not even be able to notice that shit if you were playing a game, if it does even drop that low. But So you remember we were talking about crossing over? Yeah. What the fuck is Microsoft going to cross over to making good games? Oh, man. Well, Microsoft didn't make this game. Blooper Team own- did, and they finally made a good game because they're all their previous games weren't that good. Do they own Blooper Team? They do not. Oh shit! Blooper and they, did- Blooper Team made this game off of like, the, the, I mean, the budget. Uh, it was a bigger budget than what their previous games were, but it was still not nothing compared to like what a triple A AAA, you know first party game would make um would do. But for what they did, I think they did a pretty damn good job. So why would anybody call themselves a Blooper Team? Like. Y'all they're they're watch, Polish. They're Polish. I don't know. So y'all, maybe y'all watch sports. Oh shit! I don't even get me started on Polish game developers right now. I'm, me and Polish game developers are not friends currently. We're going through a messy divorce. <laughs> but y'all know what bloopers are. You you see bloopers on ESPN, right? Yeah, blooper reels. Mm-hmm. They're like errors. Y- yeah. Lord well, their name is Blue. Their name is Bloober, not Blooper. I don't know if that's the same thing. Uh, oh, my bad. Yeah, then my bad. Yeah, you know, smooth with his orbital drop shock top troopers and <laughs> mispronounces stuff. But yeah, Microsoft got to get it together, man. Why do they have to get it together? They didn't. They didn't publish. They publish this game. I'm kind of wishing they did publish this game, but it's it's, it's, it's huh? you. You can't be talking all this shit and and, and not having even touched the game. Hold on, repeat right, what you said. Right. Why you, you said why does Microsoft get have to get it together? What do you mean why? Why? Why why do they have to get it together? To provide us with quality games to play? Okay. But I'm just saying, like uh, but th- this isn't the medium isn't Microsoft's game. So regardless of whether it was going to be a 94 or a, a 64, it, it didn't belong to Microsoft. It just happens the platform is only available on PC and Xbox right now. They spent the money to secure it, though. Just like Sony spent dumb money for what? Zaire Online or whatever the hell that game was? <laughs> what, Godfall? <laughs> like, I don't know. Pre- Pre- Predator Online or whatever? Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Why he call it? <laughs> Your <know>. word. <laughs> I, I, but like I said, but the thing is, you're you're pretty much saying that as if the game is horrible. It's not a horrible game by any stretch of the imagination. It's actually pretty Bro, good. This shit is two points from the Xbox average of sixty nine right now. Sweet. Well, the Xbox hasn't had a sixty nine game, and actually, they've been pretty much for the most part all their games that everybody's well, been the, predicting sixty nine. One battle total sixty nine. No, Battle scored higher than Days Gone. Did it? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Days Gone trash too. Stop. No, yep. I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, so Battle e- eclipses it. Obviously, the medium eclipses it. So, you know what I mean? Wait, so for a few more releases, you know, to come through and push that average up. But, uh, um, Gone's got a 72. <laughs> that, yeah, and Days Gone got a 71. Three points away from the <laughs> Xbox average. I think what Bond is trying to say is, uh, no, this is not an Xbox game, but Xbox doesn't choose the best um you know games to attach their marketing uh to here, here, and, here I, I, speaking, of, speaking of that hold up yep. i'm pretty sure i definitely said this that cyberpunk wasn't going to be good it was going to be a letdown because microsoft had the advertising i remember the, can somebody recall me saying that because i remember saying that microsoft also had the witcher 3's uh marketing so that's why i said that you, you really can't say that yeah. but 
Microsoft then to now is two different companies. Mm. Yeah, but matter of fact, um, I can't. You can't blame Microsoft because WB published the game, not Microsoft. Oh hell, we know it. What does WB even do? No, WB just publish it in America. That's all. It's just distribution, really. They didn't have any development things. They just need a well, partner for distribution. Well, Bloober <laughs> said that they uh, they recouped all their money from, um, I guess, sales and Game Pass already. Uh, the game didn't have like a huge budget in the first place, um, but I, you know, they recouped their money, so I guess that's good for them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I, I the only, th- you know. I don't mean to sound like a Game Pass hater, but I, I do hate Game Pass. Um, yeah, you know, yeah. it, and Game my, Pass you know, exists for it's like Netflix. I mean, obviously Netflix puts out quality stuff, but mm-hmm. it's a lower budget, quicker things to make as opposed to a full fledged movie. I feel like Game Pass is like anti Darwinism when it comes to games. Like it's it's allowing mediocre games to thrive, and I don't think it wow. shouldn't mediocre games die. Like shooting. Yeah, that's the numbers, PG. Yeah, you, you are. What they call it? Are you a narcissist? Like, well, that's absolutely. Like that's I, I, don't, I don't think that's the right word, Smooth. I don't know what. I mean, he, what he, he definitely a narcissist. You, bro. you mean I'm, I'm a, I'm a, you mean I'm a cynic, probably. I, I'm, I'm a pessimist. I'm a pessimist. <laughs> Listen, I'm a pessimist and a cynic. I, all, I always believe things are, are, are bad. Like, just naturally, things are gonna go wrong naturally. So, you know, most, of, most of the time, I'm right. All right. But I am Game Pass, everybody keeps looking at Game Pass as this thing that creates uh like mediocre games. The thing is, there's always all these games will always exist, right? Sure, they're getting like, you know, a lot of them, a lot of these type of games, you know, took a hit uh during a time when we had a bunch more publishers and a bunch more developers and shit like that, which are all gone now. But the thing is, is that these are the games that you find in Game Pass. Are the game are those games that you would you you walked into like GameSpot, right? Getting GameStop, and they were like in a used section. And you're like, oh, no, I'll, I'll I'll play this. Let me see what this is out. And then you know you try to beat it within that seven days so you can get your money back. I mean, I don't think Game Pass generates or produces bad games. It just it does it, you did it does allow those you know maybe games. To get an opportunity to shine, because not all maybe games are bad. Some of them are great. They just need a platform, because not everybody's going to go out and um and buy it. And these games need a place where they can sell, because not every game is going to sell a million or two million. Like a game like the Medium, pretty much projection was like like they'll be happy if they could hit five hundred k. That would be that would you be a hundred. You're you're a hundred percent right, but here's the problem. Mm-hmm. These games that you're talking about that should be on Game Pass, guess where they normally end up going? Sony normally ends up scooping them up. Games like Rocket League, games like Among Us. Sony is the one that finds all these little hidden gems and puts them, oh, free on PlayStation Plus. The, when these are the games that Microsoft should be finding to get them on Game Pass. Yeah, you know, those, uh, you know, <laughs> Rocket League was like lightning in the bottle, but, uh, but yeah, but that's what they're pretty much uh, doing now. And um, but I don't recall Game Pass existing when Rocket League came. You know what? No, you know what Game Pass is. You know, you because like no, it, it's not all bad. It's not all. It's not all bad games that are in Game Pass. But Game Pass is is just like it, it's just like Gotham City or Los Angeles, right? Because you have like you have Beverly Hills and all these places. Like very rich people live here. But then you go to another part of Los Angeles and you see Skid Row and people li- literally living on the streets in tents. And ba- and those bad games are those people living on the streets in tents Yeesh. because it, this is the, this is the straight like ghetto and this is the slums. And but you just yeah you have some good games by default that go in there too. So it's still a home. It's still a home for very mediocre bad games. Here's so the problem. Back, yeah. Here's the problem I have with Game Pass. Game Pass erases all accountability for developers. Yes. Because what happens when somebody Agreed. puts a bad game out and it gets on, oh, but it's on Game Pass. It only costs you a dollar. <laughs> and, and, and they still get money. That's facts. That's facts. And they still, and like, they don't really feel the, the, they don't really suffer from putting out a mediocre game because Game Pass is their safety net. That's not true. That's not true. I say that because 
when people it's actually more pressure on developers uh to make f- make good games or games that you people want to play in game pass because at the end of no. the day yes no. no no listen 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 to this right for example you are qu- likely quicker to put down a game you started in game pass than you are a game that you purchased for cash right that's true so they have to they have to grab you early it has to be a polished game in game pass in order well, to on, keep you playing but the thing about that is they already got their money. They don't give a fuck if you play it or not. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, but they okay, so sure. They there's there's royalties, there's uh the, the downloads are counted, like the playtime is counted. They keep track of that. If your game is downloaded but there's no playtime with it, that that affects the, what they get paid. No, they already get their money going in. Smooth. Yeah, yeah, they get a regular uh, uh, amount going in, but there's also so, bonuses. There's you, also bonuses for so what, how much time that game gets played, and, and, they, and they can renegotiate if it. Like, if there's a game that's being like the most played or the most downloaded in Game Pass, they have room to uh, renegotiate or negotiate a longer term so it can stay in there. That's why games get cycled out. So they'll they'll either si- sign like a, a, sh- a short term, and it'll either be too expensive to keep it, or it'll be a game that doesn't get played and it doesn't get renewed to stay in there. You beat you beat uh, the medium already. I beat the medium. Um, mm. What do you give it out of ten? I give it an eight out of ten. Jesus. <laughs> okay. <What>? Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Okay. When what'd you get, Paw Patrol? What'd you get, Paw Patrol? Because I need to know how you rate. <laughs> <laughs> don't say nothing. Yo, like, come on. It's like it's, I just need to know how you. I just need to know what kind of scale you rate on school. That's all I need. To yeah. No, but that's not fair. See, I'm right. See, the reason why I gave medium the score I get because any other blooper team, I'm like they average their games average like a six. You know what I mean? For me, like, like, like I just don't like them. So this was a surprise. I was about ready to drop this game. Uh, like this game, I was on the shirt leash with this game. This game had to pull me in within 30 minutes. Otherwise it was going to get dropped. All right, Smooth, when you give the game an eight, are you giving it, the, are you giving it the numerical grade of one to 10 with five being average? Or are you giving it an 80% like it's a B? It's a B. It's a B, it's a B game. I'm, okay. I, res- I That's Smooth's opinion. Um, yeah, like I like this, and like you know, a, games. like for example, a B for Paw Patrol. I'm not saying that's what I gave it, but a B for Paw Patrol versus a B for Medium would be two different Bs, right? Okay, it's, I was, it's, I was like, asking. Okay, just, just just give you a heads up. But Paw Patrol is okay. not a bad game by any stretch of the, the imagination. Now I'm I can't believe about, we're talking about Paw Patrol no, from a game <laughs> perspective. But we're just talking about video game performance. Running is like a game. It's not a bad game. It's just it's just. It's a child game. It's not a bad game. It's just a child game. Okay. That's all. Okay. You ever get well, stuck, I, you ever I, get stuck I, in Paw Patrol? You don't get stuck in Paw Patrol. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I respect your opinion. Like, I, I respect your opinion, Smooth, on, on uh, the medium. I don't believe it, but I respect it. You know, you entitled, entitled to that. 500. Yeah, wait, wait, you said you don't believe it. Hold on. Oh. Just, the, the, the one website that you agree most with with your reviews, BG, GameSpot, they gave it a 9. That's higher than Who's I, I like Who's that? Who's that? Who's that I like GameSpot? They get, why no, they no, gave no, it a 9? You agree shit. with most of their review scorings. No, I, I, I trust I trust Jack more than I trust GameSpot. As you should. BG, what podcast? Did, BG has said it. He said his opinion uh, on games know. align, usually align with GameSpot no, reviews. You think, you th- I think you're thinking about buying, yo. No, BG That's said it. it. BG said, uh, that. "I don't know. I don't. That don't BG sound like something I would say. That's why he can't. I, that don't. No, no. That don't sound like something I would say at all. Oh, I'm gonna be. Somebody, they, gonna, they, gonna they gonna have to find that. that. They, they gonna, gonna have to find please that. Please, somebody find that shit. Man. I'm pretty sure so, I didn't find that. Because the thing is, Gamespot always gets um attacked for how they review games. They because they're usually lower than what the average uh, the average website would give a grade. And you like and you said uh, you typically that. agree with their scores." Yo, where's Bond? Every, every time Bond said, the chat say Bond said that. I, I think I think Bond said no, that because every time. That, but I'm looking at the game reviewer. He's an irregular from San Francisco, so his review doesn't count. <laughs> irregular. Hold on, what that mean? Irregular. <laughs> what that mean? <laughs> he's a, he's a, he is a he is a he is a pronoun person and a regular. Oh person. no! Stop. <laughs> You're trying to get killed. Okay. I'll be I'll be a, I'll be 100 honest. I don't mean to sound sexist to this because you know how people say that they look they look to people that are like-minded to them to see t- for games that they like. I don't particularly like the way women review games, in my opinion. What? Mocha, you heard and this? why not? Because <laughs> they talk about things I don't care about in games a lot. For example, 
there's I'm not saying all women, but generally when I see a review that's all about politics and sexism and misogyny and represent and all this other, I'm like, how does the game run? How does the game play? How does the game look? What are the mechanics? I scroll straight to the bottom. It's some weirdo dye tie dyed hair colored woman. <laughs> Wait a minute, uh, right uh, Mocha, you heard us, <laughs> bro. This this is not a, a, a woman. I don't even know where His to name start. Is Jordan like, you're, you're sending, like, look, when I read a when I, when I read a review, though, I want to know about the game. I don't care about your personal feelings about representation or. But that women. does matter. <laughs> representation yeah. does matter. But here's my issue. For it's example, easy. no, 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 because that's <laughs> with that because it's easy for you to say it doesn't matter when ninety percent of the games that you're playing is a male character. But they're not oh, even no. black. It doesn't matter. It doesn't well, matter. Like, it yeah, doesn't matter. Want black characters too, but being right, a I'm... woman and and playing a game with a female uh, protagonist is a big deal. And just yeah. because oh. you don't appreciate it. No, it's um, not that I don't appreciate it because Super Metro. Top you, 10 but you basically are that. saying that because you're you're saying that you don't care for it and you don't really. All right. Let me go. Um, no, uh, I, I, I know also, what Bond is saying. That's, that's Holly not, got. Yeah. Holly also, got no, I'm not done talking. Oh, also, mm. Just because they're pointing out the things that you don't appreciate doesn't mean they don't also acknowledge or care for the mechanics and they don't. All the basics of a of a game. I disagree. Um no. I, I Holly got Holly review of Cyberpunk went eight paragraphs before they even talked about the game. No that's talk about what they want to touch on. And exactly they're allowed to have a different opinion. They are allowed to do that. But that that means their okay. their review is bullshit to me. But it's not bullshit because they care about something that you don't care about doesn't make it bullshit. It just means that they you have the difference. Issue, Mocha. That cyberpunk had so many problems, so many issues, so much things that needed to be addressed just on the baseline level of the game. But they spent and I get that. I'm not discrediting that. Trans I inclusion. I'm like the game don't even work. So why are okay. we talking about representation? And that you have a point. I'm not saying what you're saying is um, inaccurate. I agree. Like, you know, all that stuff matters too. But just because they care about the other things that you don't feel is important doesn't mean that their opinion is invalid. Um, well, I'm not saying I feel like women not... are more thorough in their reviews. We can, we can I go don't there. Disagree. I, I honestly don't think even... I, I honestly think more YouTubers are more thorough than any of these publications, to be honest. Mm. I think they hire a bunch of non-gaming crackpot clowns to be journalists in these gaming streets nowadays. But at the end oh, of the day, move on. those things are fine to talk about in games. Mm. I agree. But the, but when you're playing a game, we, we do need to talk about is the game fun and does it run properly and things like that. Like, we can't make everything a political centerpiece before the actual game. I but need to know the product that, works. Like, but you do that. In different All right, well, well, like, well Bond and Mocha could, could go all day. <laughs> but I, I, I know y'all can go all day because I've seen it. But it's already 7.30. We, we got to talk about some other stuff. Well, maybe if somebody had work in the internet. Oh, yeah. here we go. Here we go. You, you got me. You got me. I don't got no comeback for that one. Anyways, um, go ahead, BJ. Uh, yeah, go okay. Ahead. Um, so we're we're moving on from the medium. All right. Uh, next topic. Uh, PlayStation Plus. Uh, for February, the games we're getting. Uh, Destruction All Stars, which had a state of play. Uh, Control and Concrete Genie. Those are the games. Uh, yes, that are sir. coming out in a, coming out in a few days. Uh, the. Thing you know that obviously we're going to talk about talk about I guess for a moment is Destruction All Stars because that's the new game that was <laughs> it's, it's going to be free for PlayStation Plus. If you remember uh, when they first talked about the game, it was going to be a seventy dollar game that was supposed to be a launch game, got delayed. Now it's free for PlayStation Plus, and uh, the state of play lo was looking pretty okay. Like I was skeptical about this game at, at first, but the state of play looked all right. They talked about the different cars, the different characters jack saw you know a, a bbw character he seemed to like really get attached to um <laughs> shout, 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 shout to bbws though 
<laughs> by, the, by the way, Jack, speaking of that, Jack, Jack, I noticed like I see your history tab at the top. You want to click on that? No, sir. Can we... Oh, OK. <laughs> I, 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 I just noticed your history tab was right there. I'm like, you know, maybe you want to share that with us. Nah, no, man, Nothing? I, I, I delete yeah. my history when I get off the uh, when I close the browser. You know the vibes. Oh, why do you do that? Hey, man, no reason, man. No reason. <laughs> All right, no, I, 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 do y'all remember that one time BG was streaming or doing a video and he typed in the never keyword? Happened. And then Pornhub never happened. came up, absolutely. Never happened. <laughs> hey, he that never he happened. Said that was Otto. Yeah, Bond always trying to get off topic. Bond always trying to get off topic. Bond always trying to get off topic. Did that Pornhub, nigga? Really? Okay. A lot of people are always you, you, when y'all know these, the you know PlayStation got auto complete features, even when you never go uh, to the why website. Why would it default you know the Pornhub after a PB? Anyway, oh, anyway, oh, hey, oh, oh, this, this is why yeah, this is why we could never finish on time. Y'all always getting off topic. Y'all competing on the PlayStation. It's always off topic. Jack, what do you think about Destruction All Stars? The state of play. Yeah, what, what do you think? Of I just, you know, it's crazy <laughs> that you type PB. <laughs> but um, what do I think of Destruction All Stars? It look um. Like it might be cool, you know, it might be one of them Rocket League type games that uh you know catch wind, uh you know, catch traction or whatnot. I'm I'm gonna check it out. If I don't like it, I'm gonna drop that bitch off rip. But um I don't know, man. I don't know. It looked cool though, it kinda reminded me of like a little twisted metal type type joint. Yeah, I kinda wish it had they had guns on the cars, you know, to just pretty much make it twisted metal, but it looked like it could be fun. Anybody else got thoughts on uh the state of play I for think it's disruption? Be... Sony and these kind of games, they make multiplayer games like Xbox makes Game Pass games. That's my opinion. <laughs> so this game is probably going to be trash. Uh, that's funny. But when's the last time Sony made a good multiplayer game? <laughs> last one. Oh, man, let me fall back. That was 2013. BJ, crazy. Uh, I, I wouldn't. Last of Us, probably. Yeah, Last of Us. Well, that's the last time they made an amazing but... multiplayer game. Uh, Uncharted 2. Nah, I'd say Last of Us was amazing. Until until the community got on there. But uh, any other thoughts? I a good one either, but still. Any other thoughts on Destruction All Stars from people sort of Um, state of play? I want to. I want to say. Um, speaking on the plus games, I know a lot of people are gonna ignore this game. But definitely check out Concrete Genie, all right? It's Nobody a- playing that, Jack. Concrete Genie I'm is not that. a bad game. I'm definitely game. playing that. I beat no, Concrete no, Genie. that was in my recommendations I'm a te- few months ago. It looked good. I'm telling y'all, I platinum this game. I platinum Control too. Control's a great game too, and you get the Ultimate Edition. <sighs> but Concrete Genie is not a bad game, people. Check it out. Give it a chance. It's gonna be free. The, check that out. The 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 child graffiti artist simulator. That's what that. That's what we hey, had. Hey man, check Yo. it out, bro. Check it out, bro. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, okay. If you say so. Well, yeah, we're going to see what uh, Destruction All-Stars is, is like this uh, thing that comes out February 2nd. It had to come that's, out on yeah. Tuesday. Yeah, oh, that's Tuesday. This week, yeah. Yeah, Tuesday. yeah, that's when the store updates February 2nd. So, yeah. Well, I think I'm running back we'll, to Control, we'll see. too, man. Y'all playing Control? All right. Um, that's going to be free or not? No. <laughs> you ain't playing the Control Ultimate Edition? Ray Trace is 60 frames update. No, for what? Man, fuck you. Come on, man. Listen, no, listen tra- Control was good. It's not worth the re- all the DLC? Come on, man. What you mean? It's not worth a replay. Control. Yeah, is all the DLC replay. in the same building, too? Hey, Jim, you got to stop that, bro. <laughs> that building big as shit, eh? You can go outside and all that. Mm. All right. Mm. Uh, next topic. Uh, Ninja's comments. So Ninja did an interview with the New York Times, I believe it was. And, um, you know, he, uh, he spoke on the comments he made uh, a, a while ago. Uh, regards to, uh, you know, the reasons he doesn't stream with women, which, you know, I think he's completely within, you know, grounds and, you know, he has a very valid reason why he doesn't stream with women. You know, I completely, and I don't even like Ninja. I've never watched Ninja stream, by by the way, but I, you know, um, I think his reasoning for that was, you know, very solid. And uh, in this interview, he spoke about like racism and things like that. Um, as far as his chat goes, and pretty much he said it's not his responsibility to teach, um, you know, his chat or kids that watch him about racism and bigotry and and pretty much it's not his job to teach them how to act. You know, he leaves that up to the parents. And, uh, you know, like I understand Ninja, there's a certain uh, section of people who don't like Ninja. I don't feel any either way, you know, about the guy. 
So I can look at, I feel like I can look at this and say, like, I don't really feel like anything he said was wrong about either about the women or about the, you know, teaching kids about race. He didn't say anything wrong. So that that's that's my thoughts I on agree. it. But some people were still some people were still mad at him. No, I I'll go last on this. It it, it's not his job to do that. Well, it, it depends on kids. It depends on the context of how that's being taken because it's a platform. It's a huge platform, and if it's happening on his platform, it is his uh, obligation to do something about it. Well, so it depends, yeah, it depends on, it depends on the, yeah, it depends on the context of how how that was being. Yeah, he he uh, has to uh, moderate. Like if people are just dropping the n word in his chat, yeah, it has to be moderated. But I don't expect him to go into a sermon or dissertation, right. uh, you know, about racism yeah. or anything like that. He's just supposed to block it and all that. Right. Exactly. I actually think he does have a responsibility to do that. Um, he has a lot of influence, mm -hmm. so. I, I agree that he doesn't need to teach kids because obviously he's not their parent, but because he does, be, because he does have a platform and because he's an influencer, he can, he can at least talk about it if it gets brought up like in, in his stream. I've never seen him stream either, but he definitely has a responsibility to acknowledge it um, and acknowledge that it does exist and try to be a, try to, to exist. Oh, okay. Well, I, um, but he says yeah. it's not his responsibility to parent your kids. Yeah, yes, I, I agree with that. But he does have a responsibility to acknowledge it and to. Yeah. Um, I feel okay. like moderating it and, and like banning them and stuff is acknowledging it. He doesn't have to like really, like like he said, have a sermon about it. You know, um, like, Loka, how as long, you as, long as he doesn't how allow it to happen on his mm -hmm. platform and he tries to control it, then I feel like he's doing what he's supposed to do. Like, yeah. like Mo, how would you feel if he, if he, well, let's just say this in a, in a vacuum. Ninja got up and tried to start parenting people watching, and you're watching this guy try to parent your kids. Mo, how would you feel about that? Well, what do you mean? Like, like who, the hell is he? who, who is this guy to think he knows better for my kids? I mean, I feel like no one can do that anyway. Like, kids are like products of their parents. How would you feel if he was actively saying this? I'm going to teach your kids right. Your kids should listen well, to yeah, me. Yeah, that would that would bother me. Um, there you go. But I mean, I feel like this is like beyond like even gaming because it happens. Um, the same conversation happens in other different categories like music. People will like accuse artists of like, oh, you can't say that. You can't make songs like that. Like you're influencing my children, and you know. And I feel like it's your job to teach your children not whoever they're watching on tv or listening to on the radio so that's just so that's a good point you remember y'all know who ll cool j is right of course <laughs> i've never was. heard of him there Bro, was the <laughs> hey, i don't know how, i don't know how young all these people are there was one song he had my mom hated me and my brother listened to i already know what you guys know that song doing nah. Oh. Doing it, my mom. Anytime me and my brother would listen to doing it, turn that shit off. Hey, same thing. Parents at the end of the day got to be responsible for their kids. And I see all these people on the internet saying that Ninja has a responsibility. Okay, you want Ninja to have a responsibility? I need you to start uh, letting him write your your kids off as tax write offs. I need y'all to start paying child support. Man, I think look. that's I think that's different though by saying parenting and having a responsibility. I think that's a I think that's two different things. Yeah. Well, I feel like if you think your child is that impressionable, like you need to like be limiting their internet time anyway and trying to figure out what you can do to make them not be such a follower. But that's just me. No, yeah, that's that's not that's not for kids or kids are impressionable. No, because I feel like people do that all the time. Like mm -hmm. Like, I mean, you, you can't control everybody else. Like, when, when they go out into the world, they're going to come across people and interact with things that There's is no going to be influence them too, though. You what, think about that. what you support. And I feel like, you know, you have to, I mean, that's your job, basically, at the end of the day. It's, it's your job to do it. You really can't tell everybody else you have to live this way. You have to be this way because I don't like for my kids to 
you know, like see that, you know, I mean, it's not up to them. No. I mean, but the thing is, like kids, like the human brain ain't even fully developed to like twenty one years old, right? I and mean, you can you can still finesse grown motherfucker. So of course, you know, people will want ninja to uh you know, speak out on this type shit, but I, I truly don't feel like he should have to. I don't feel like it's a, his obligation. His only obligation is to his brand and to the bag, right? So if you sponsored by, you know, fucking Doritos and all this other jiggy shit, I'm not finna get on here and say some shit I could lose my endorsements. Are you crazy? I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, man. Like, them ain't my kids, them your kids, right? He's the motherfucker. Like, I ain't got no problem with Ninja said. I really don't. Exactly. Yeah, he's, a, I, yeah, I, I he's an entertainer. Michael Jay Jordan said the best. Fuck them kids. <laughs> hey, low key in that situation, absolutely. Yeah, and mm -hmm. he's he's Ninja's just an entertainer. That that's all he is. And like, don't you know? It's not like we forgot. He did slip up and say the the N word one time. So it's it's not like we team Ninja or anything like that. You know, it's not like we're on uh, his side. But you know, at the same time, it's not like we we can still be rational about this and not expect him to uh, you know think he has an obligation to, to to be teaching kids just because he's you know a big brand and all that so let me ask yeah. a, a, let me ask all you a question if, if somebody came on your live stream and said what, what what do you think about racism do you just say fuck them or do you yeah, explain how, how, well, how you think about racism there's a, there's a difference me? With that, though. like we ain't, I, I, that's for all of you nobody mm -hmm. nobody here got nothing to lose you know what i mean like what they gonna do? Say, nah, I'm leaving the stream. Like, nigga, you get like, yeah, I mean, I'm getting two dollar donations. This nigga Ninja's making millions, right? If I was making Ninja yeah. money, I, I wouldn't even acknowledge. That. I probably wouldn't even read the comment section no more. You know? What I, mean? <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, I mean, I mean, nin Ninja can't read his comment. Have you like? I'm pretty sure his comment likes move like a million comments a second. Yeah. He, he can't read those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What would you do? I what would you? Like... What would y'all do though? I feel like everyone avoids questions like that, um, like racism, politics, religion, those type of questions. You just like ignore them. Mm -hmm. um, but that doesn't mean that you don't have to like ban people for, you know, leaving hate comments and stuff like that. I mean, I'm still going to do that, but I don't have to like, you know, get into like my personal beliefs um, during mm -hmm. a stream. You don't have to do that. Yeah. And I mean, do we, like I said, do we really want, the white guy teaching about racism like yeah. he admit he admit that he that he believes like white privilege is a thing that's that's all he really has to say like as long as you accept white privilege is a thing all right bro go on go on along your way i don't necessarily want you to uh, mm. do we really think ninja's the expert to be teaching about racism no so, he, like, he said in your twitter that he should talk about it and i responded to you hold up you want a white guy to talk about this then people want to come at him talk about what is he talking about? Did I say that? I don't think I said he should. Yeah. Did I? Yeah. No, I, I, no, I think I, I said. I, 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 you forgot a stance already? That's crazy. I was like, no, I was like, I oh, this shit just happened. No, 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 no. I said, because I know I said he's not like responsible. Like he doesn't owe it. His, I said, I know his white privilege allows him to say that. That's part of white privilege that allows him to say like, oh, I, it's not my responsibility. But I don't think I said he he should have. I I, I, I got to go back and look at the tweet. I'm find this tweet. I got to go back and look at it though. But yeah, I I don't think he's responsible. Hmm. So great. I'm trying to find this tweet and I see Jack move the person favorite the favorite movie, Ashley Delicious number Ooh. nine. What that thing, hey, that thing, that thing, that thing, heat. That, that, <laughs> Ashley De Ashley Delicious number nine. That joint heat, bro. <laughs> God damn. Oh, I seen that. I seen that. I went off with the rocket to watch that motherfucker. Yeah. What is happening here? Yeah. Why'd they get rid of all the uh <laughs> why'd they get rid of all the tweet finders? Like the tweet finders don't be working for me no more. Anyway. All right. Um Xbox can... is getting owned so much. Uh, we can move on. Um, The Last of Us Part 2 has now won more Game of the Year awards than any other game, surpassing The Witcher 3. Man, The Witcher. CD Projekt Red just lost it all, didn't they? <laughs> I'd love to see it. Love to see it. Mm -mm -mm. And, ho of course, hoes were mad. Yeah, well-deserved. Um, I think it was well-deserved. Mm -hmm. I think so. Absolutely. Yeah. Ho hoes were definitely mad. Oh, and... PS5 patch would be nice. <laughs> 
Yeah, th- no, there's a rumor on, and this is a rumor. It comes from Reset Era, so don't don't oh, put too God. much on, to, on, to, on too much sauce on it. But there's a Reset Era rumor that Naughty Dog is working on a PS5 patch for The Last of Us Part Two. I, mean, I think we know that's true. How, how, how much that's gonna run? Yeah. Us? Never mind. It's gonna be free. It's gonna be free ninety nine. They ain't gonna do that. I doubt it. I doubt it. I believe when I see it, dog. I believe when I see it. I think we get the remaster. They take it too long. Hey man. Hey, I'm gonna be real with you. Either way, I'm getting it. Me too. Low low key, low key. We ain't fooling nobody. They better give a deaf option. Would y'all like this? Point out the more people get like angry and want to argue about the last of us further proves that it deserves uh to be like game of the year to me um Mm. the fact that people are still talking about it and it caused so much controversy and people are going to talk about it forever i mean doesn't that mean like it's like a great game no polarizing it it, 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 it accomplished accomplished its goal it wanted to start you know a dialogue a narrative or whatever it it did that. yeah and i feel like that was their goal right they wanted people to be like that divided Um, well, they knew the game was they knew the game was trash, so they had to give people a reason to keep talking about it. No, nah, that's what that's Stop what that was. Okay, Jimmy. Jimmy, don't believe that. I mean, Neil Druckmann did say himself like years ago. People saw the footage. He said people thought he was joking. He was like, "Listen, a lot of y'all not gonna like this game." He told us that years ago. People thought he was just like, "Ah, uh, you know, just just talking." Ah, he was that ass, and people, you know, that's what happened. I think so. they did a good job. Like, you're torn yeah. on who you like more and who you feel like was the bad guy and who wasn't. I feel like that was their whole point of doing that. That's why they made you play mm-hmm. as Ellie and Abby. Like I don't, I don't get how y'all call Joel a bad guy, but not Ellie, but okay. He destroyed the world. So what What did Ellie do in the second one? She's bad. No, She's not. Joel I mean, destroyed the world. I mean, everybody Listen, got their own reason why they did. Shit, it, even if you don't believe Joel's a villain, I mean, you could always you can always revert to to there's no bad or good. There's just survivors in The Last of Us. Really That's why really everybody's fair game. No, nah, I, so, I definitely think he was the villain, but still, I don't think that. Uh, I mean, his decisions ultimately good. fucked um, over everybody the most. If you think about. it. But he was doing it for his own, yeah. you know, situation. So yeah, hey, and, and it's great. It's, and it's great how they never took. I feel like no one was doing it the most. Like you're at the end of the world, it's the apocalypse. But but like, but either kill or be killed. No, true. But if he did not do that, there was a possibility they could have averted what was going on. They could have saved. And I like how they never brought it up again. <laughs> Ali's immunity he never like came legit, up again. Like yeah, what he did, it it, it effectively it was it put a wrap to that shit. And it wasn't even a guarantee. And then also, like, y'all be talking about fuck them kids, fuck them people. Like, I don't know about y'all. I'm not even a people person. Like, people be <clears throat> shitty as fuck. I don't care about, like, there's no, like, you're at the end of the world. There's clickers and shit everywhere. It, it ain't no cure fixing that, bro. You're not reverse. The world is over, bro. Like, everybody's going to die off. I mean, gonna, but if they take it as a possibility. There's no reverse in that. Like, I th- I, th- I think Joe made a choice that wasn't his. Like he 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 made okay, a choice. Okay, but that... it was ultimately that it had to be his choice because for real it was Ellie's choice and they didn't ask her. <laughs> well, she she she, 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 she didn't get she didn't have a she didn't have a voice. Would have consented, but they didn't. They put her to sleep, not telling her that the surgery was going to kill I mean, her. She agreed, she agreed to go. Shit. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Nah. That was some shady shit. I feel like the fireflies had it coming. Y'all already know but, how I feel about that. But um, okay, if you played the second, I know you played the second one. She she wanted, you know, what I mean, she didn't want what happened. Yeah, but that. that was after the fact. She consented after the fact. You don't kill somebody without asking them how they feel first. I mean, like, yeah, she was a child, but like, I mean, she consented, but they the dude she was her. consent to had his fucking intestines on the ground already. He really couldn't. Un- I, I don't feel like he was wrong. I feel like the way they went about it was shady. Um, he he wanted to leave. The, and she was like, nah, like, and she put a hit well, out on him. They lost. Kill the doctor. The There's doctor. No problem. So, so, okay, okay, but think about it like this, though. Okay, you could either sacrifice one 14 year old girl or the, the rest of humanity, uh, humanity could be fucked for the end of days. Which one are you picking? Like, I mean, I don't know, Fuck man. Humanity. Fuck humanity. <laughs> Yeah, Fuck no, nah, man. Because if you're, you're thinking about it like they thinking about it, when you're at the end of the world, the last of your loved ones that you have left are all that you fucking got. 
period. That's true. It ain't, that's, it, true. that's all you got that's left. That's true. And who am I to kill the last person that is near and dear to my heart in this shitty ass world to go save some motherfuckers I don't give a shit about? Fuck y'all. Listen, I'm yeah, and then they and then they, no. they built a bond up. Then they built no. a bond up to make her like his daughter. You ain't gonna. Yeah, kill I, I fuck with Joe. I fuck with Joe. I, mean, I, I feel what he no did, Hardy but I'm, I'm, just, I'm just looking at it from the other way. You got to see where they coming from too, though. You know what I mean? Joe was right. Joe wasn't no bad guy. Fuck Abby. Fuck her daddy. Um, oh, hey. Hey. Hold on, hold on. Why, why is it fucking? Wait, 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 wait. So wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait a minute, Mocha. Connection wait. Died by okay, cool, cool, cool. Wait a minute, Mocha. Wait a minute. On the other side, her dad was the last person she truly loved. They killed that man. So how is okay. she supposed to? How is she supposed to feel? And, and, and he, he wouldn't have got killed if he didn't pull a scalpel out on my nigga while he was trying to get Ellie off the table. Fuck nah, that. Nah, that ain't true. That ain't <laughs> true. That ain't true. <laughs> you should have stood in the corner and minded your own motherfucking business, but you didn't. So you got clapped, and that's a personal problem, my nigga. Yeah. Fuck him. What? He should have minded his own business. <laughs> this, is crazy. Business. this is crazy. This is crazy. Nobody say nope. <laughs> what in the world? Joel is the villain of the story because the Not world. A villain. Could... There's no villains in The Last of Us. The world could have been saved. You either kill them or they. <laughs> That's the world they're living in. It ain't no good guy, good guy, bad guy no more. Objectively yep, speaking, the world would have been saved if Joel didn't break into the facility and kill the doctors. Nah, it, it ain't no saving the world. It's car. You can't even walk down the street. It's cars everywhere. I mean, to me, to be fair, in the first game, there were nothing but a bunch of NPCs at that point. I think you're finna revitalize or revive or whatever the fuck the whole entire world. That's not happening. The world is over. Me and my little girl, we out of here. I'm finna, I'm finna gather what's mine, and we out. Hold on, you roasting Ellie on Twitter? Hold on, you roasting Ellie on Twitter this week? Hold on, huh? What you roasting Ellie on Twitter this week? Where all this energy coming from? I Ellie, I don't fuck with Ellie. What the fuck? You, hey, what are you talking about right now? Huh? You because don't fuck with Ellie, but you you happy? Like, no, I don't like her character, and I thought she was rude and unappreciative and mean, and I preferred Sarah. Um, I feel like Joe preferred. I mean, not preferred. He deserved a Clementine type of role, but he got Ellie. But he cared about her, and since he cared about her, he had a right to say, you know what? Y'all been shady. I want to take my girl uh, and bounce. And when they told him, nah, you ain't going nowhere. Kill this nigga. He had every right to kill them. He had every right. Mm. Every right. They had it coming. Fuck the fireflies. You, anybody else you want to curse out during this? Who, who else you... Fuck, fuck who else? Huh? What's going on? This and the whole, the whole everybody in the game right now. I oh, like Joe. I like Sarah. I said fuck Ellie. I didn't say fuck everybody else. Okay, how you feel about Tommy? Tommy? How you feel about Tommy? How, how you feel about Tommy? How do I feel about who? Tommy, uh, Joel's brother, Tommy. I like Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> All right. I like Tommy. I like Tommy. Um, I like Lev and Last of Us Two. He was like one of my favorite characters. How you feel about that power plant like thing? Was next? How you feel about that? The damn. <laughs> how you feel about that? Jack, no, you're not finna try to. <laughs> I'm just asking the question. Just what? Said. No, because you're trying to try to make me backpedal. I said what I said. Hey, I'm just um, trying to figure out who else you don't like in the I game, man. It's I just think crazy. Ellie was a, a, like a nice person. I didn't like her. But because Joe fucked with her, if he wanted to take her and leave, he had that right. He had that right. They didn't even have her consent. They were killing her without her consent. They should have asked like a normal human being. And maybe things were wait, 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 differently. Hold. But they did. Can didn't. you kill somebody with their consent, though? Yeah, 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 you, you, you actually have, can. Have you can. asked her, hey, are you okay with this? Hey, this is but or, like, well, wait this a minute. Is what we're planning to do, and they didn't. But she she was not she was not confirmed that was going to kill her, though. It was a high chance, but it wasn't actually, you know what I mean? So what do we think about that? You said she was doing what? It wasn't 100% uh, guarantee that she was going to die. It, what you mean? I mean they she were probably, she brain probably, open. It was like a ninety-nine percent chance she was gonna fucking die. Bro, <laughs> are you serious, Jack? Yeah. I don't get why y'all care about that so much. And in the second game, they never even brought it back up again. They, they actually, they, Jimmy, did you play the game? Yes, I did. They They, 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 the, the they brought it up one time in a hotel when he said, "Don't bring it. Don't let you, people know they're you, you, you know, you know, literally the whole second game is revolving around that, right? No, I don't. You didn't see any of the flashbacks her going back to the hospital revisiting and then you being there like Uh no, you talking about Abby's part? I'm talking about mm -mm. Ellie's part, sir. No, I don't know nothing about that. Two years All later when she went back and then Joel came, he's like, Where you were at, girl? 
I was worried about you. You don't, you don't remember that, <laughs> you don't remember that there, bro? Nah, bro. Sorry, man. <laughs> no, 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 yo, that was that was Sorry, <laughs> man. Yo, that was classic. <laughs> that shit is crazy. <laughs> Oh, I know. There's only one way for the world to survive, and Joel ruined it. Yeah. Fuck the world. Yeah, but they never even let you know she was the only immune person or nothing. Like, damn. Oh, there's that more than one. even guaranteed. And, and no. I, I, fuck, fuck humanity. I don't give a damn. Oh, wow. And then they, okay. they didn't go about it the right way, and that's something that we can move on. It's All right, let's move on. Yeah. Right, let, let go let, about it. No, Mocha's right. Let's move on. Other topics. Uh, yeah, so Game Pass has surpassed 18 million subscribers. Aye, aye. Yay. And Bleeding struggled to have 10 people on a server at one oh. time, just Damn. a few months after it launched. So Ninja Theory announced that they are dropping support for Bleeding Edge, even though we already assumed this already? a while ago because they, they, they stopped supporting it. Like, So they need to tell us, but they made it official. So Bleeding Edge is officially what? dead. Um, I, you know, and, and, and I actually like this game. You know, I thought it has so some why potential. You, why you didn't keep you know? the? Why you didn't try to keep the online a lot, BG? What happened? <laughs> listen, hold, listen, Jack. You know, you know, like I'm usually, I'm, I'm that guy. I'm tired of keeping onlines alive. Yeah. I was, especially Xbox games. You realize, like the first Titanfall? No, was it the second? It was the yeah, it was the because Titanfall. Titanfall Titanfall 1 died, like, after six months. And I was still on them servers playing that game. I, I really be out here doing God's work trying to keep these Xbox games alive. And, like, I'm, you know, I'm tired of having that burden on my back. Mm. I, I'm, tired of, I'm tired of it being me, bro. Like, I be supporting Xbox multiplayer games, the good ones. But, like, it, it's to oh, no avail. It's like... Uh, what do you mean the good ones? What, what good ones? Oh, no. Titanfall is definitely a, a good multiplayer game. Um, I believe Bleeding Edge was was had potential, <laughs> it had, you know. Well, and I don't, uh, I don't I don't remember what else right now. My bad, my bad. Um, it was the next topic is Bleeding Edge, right? Yes. No. It, it, topic is I tried I tr I tried to keep it alive, and I, it didn't work. Move. I, I was single handedly doing it. I'm I'm not enough. Yeah. Um. Nah, uh, that's their fault. You know, I'm sick. Of, I'm sick and tired of developers saying this is a passion project and then put no passion in it after they put Ooh. it out. Like, that drives me nuts. So they had a lot of opportunity with that game to keep player interest by constant updates, adding more levels. They launched the game with two levels and they didn't add no more. They only added one character. They had they have a ample of first party characters they could have in incorporated with this game with some cross promotion, like Sea of Thieves does all the time. They didn't do that. It was this game to me. What it feels like, I mean, this is probably all wrong, but what I feel like it was one of those like plead the like you know we, we'd sign with you if you let us put this game out and they let them put that game out and that's it why why are ninja theory like working on like so many different projects like because you could say at at least at some point they were working on bleeding edge yep. pro this project mara yep um and and obviously hellblade 2 is in development it's another it's one more game i heard just recently yeah, insight what the they, yo. why they are a very small studio. Why are they doing this? I don't know. Um, I don't know. But they are, they feel they're, you know, they're very creative. They're very agile. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just that I, 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 I'm, I'm not sure what's uh, going on. But I felt it does, it does feel like a, a slap in the face because it's like, I, I just hate that they clamored, you know, passion project, passion project, passion project. <laughs> And they, it felt like there was no effort put into that once they released it. I don't know if it's COVID that you know that that kind of slowed down what they could potentially do, um, but I don't know. But um, yeah, the game was uh, it's all right. Okay, well, rest in peace. Don't uh, play the game before they turn. To, I mean, they, well, they still gonna keep the servers on, huh? It just ain't I need to get one more achievement for all of them. I need one more achievement to get to hundred percent. I got. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I gotta. Yo, yo. Maybe you can play with me, and I can just heal you a bunch of times. Who? You should. You, should do, you should do a community event like a, a Sayonara. Man, show, like listen, <laughs> listen, <laughs> man. I can that last event. Listen, man. Come on, let's get um, it. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, bro. I'll I, I tried to. I'll tune in for that. 
Weapon wheel, weapon wheel uh, bids farewell to Bleeding Edge. Listen, I'm, I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of attending. <laughs> let's, 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 let's listen, let's my, listen, bro, my heart is broken. I'm tired of atten attending Xbox game funerals, bro. <laughs> like we, you know how many games we had to lay to rest. We had to bro. We had we had to lay to rest. Bleeding Edge, Titanfall, Crackdown what? died super fast. The State of Decay. No, that's still live with grown players. The only, game, the only game that survived is Sea of Trash. If the State of K both survived. Where's, what about Grounded? Where's Grounded? Where's Grounded? Where's Grounded? Where's Grounded? Where's Grounded? Preview. That's, that's about to release publicly this year. That's going to get And I'm going to be real with you. Xbox fans ain't even the one playing uh, Sea of Thieves. That's not Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> if we, sea of Thieves. If we're being completely honest, that's not Xbox fans even playing that game. You're saying that's, that's some Steam guys, BG? Is that what you're saying? That that's absolutely PC dudes and streamers, ooh, ooh. not like people who are fans of of, of Xbox. Like, so you're this move? No, no, I agree. Oh, speaking shit, of uh, speaking of Steam, did you hear they're getting sued? Already getting sued what? for uh, their horrid pricing practices of games. Oh shit! Meanwhile, um, what's that other company's name who be giving away free games um, and Epic, uh, Epic? Uh, this kind of games? Are you talking about Epic Games, sir? What would Alex have to say about that, Jack? Oh man, he wouldn't. He wouldn't be fucking with Epic right now. Oh man, that's crazy. He fuck with Steam. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, I don't you know. Be taking Game's cock in the back, though. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> yo, yo. Okay. Wallen. All right. Um, um, okay. So now moving on again. Um. So there was this game that uh got a little video. They released a little gameplay video of it. Of it. It's called the day before mm -hmm. and it had a really it had really bad scripted in-game chat you know like how like when ubisoft um shows off the division game <laughs> yeah, yeah. they always oh, have this, this scripted in-game chat like oh yeah uh roger that alpha charlie bravo i'm He's on my you know, like, it, like yeah all this other dumb yeah. shit yeah I yeah watch, watch my back and, and, and like nobody actually before. talks like that Nobody talk. Yeah, it's called the day before. Nobody talks like that when they're actually playing games, and for some reason, developers think like this shit sounds good in their in their game demos. So that's really bad in in in, in the video. But the game kind of looks interesting. It's an open world survival MMO. No, uh, sir. It's gonna be. No, sir. It's gonna be. It's gonna be out later this year. It's it, to me. It looks like a mix of DayZ, Last of Us, and Division. Yes, sir. Um, and and the. And the developers are, are called F N Tastic, and they're a Russian developer. They're but I I don't think I think this is their first game. They they might be a group of developers that a group of individuals that came from other studios, but this is like their first um game they're working on. And in fact, like I went to, when you go to their website, <laughs> when you go to their website, their links don't even like work properly. Like that's how new they seem to be. Like I went to their website and. Like, you know, at the bottom where you click on their, like, social links, like Twitter and YouTube like that, it takes you to the Square, their Squarespace page. That's, like, they, they haven't even fixed their website properly yet. So that's how, like, new they, they seem to be. They don't even got, like, all their stuff handled yet. But it looks interesting. Y'all could check out the gameplay. You know. Could be interesting. Eh, um, look good, but... The narrator... I ain't gonna lie. They MMO, oh, my, bro. They, oh, they lost people there, bro. Oh, my division has. Y'all already know, man. Y'all know what this is, man. Ew. Yeah, y'all already know, man. Add me up, man. Let's get this. The division. Uh, this uh, Tuesday is yep. getting zombies it's in the world, by the way. It's getting well, the what, what's going on? It's getting the next no, It's a cross yeah, parallel event with Resident Evil. No, and yeah, a 4K and then, update and a 4K update for uh, all right, yeah, 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 talking about two different things. BG is confirming yeah, that my bad. There's there's the there's zombies in the day before. Okay, yeah, now we'll talk about what y'all talking about. No, I was saying that the division is getting it's um I wasn't talking about that stupid ass Resident Evil crossover. Characters don't even look like them, they're just dressing in their clothes. But um it's been a problem, man. the PS5 and Xbox, you know, getting that 4K 60 upgrade on there, so it's gonna be definitely more platable this time around. Um, I don't know if I platable? even said that. Are you, hey, well, you no, mean play play was, you know, you're going to get the play. That's what you're saying. No, 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 not the play. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to play it because it's going to be 60 frames per second, 4K. And Division naturally looks good. I just, and if, if, if I have Ghost Recon to refer to with their update, then the Division is going to be all right. That game boring as hell. You talking about Wildlands? Oh, yeah, the game. Uh, no, Breakpoint. Breakpoint. Yeah, oh, it's Breakpoint. Fuck. All right. 
It's, it's boring as fuck, but um, yeah, it, it should be boring, I mean, yeah. just looking at it in motion and stuff, it, it, it feels good. I, I won't play through it, but I just needed to try to get a teaser with the uh, division. You just, you just want to you know, like, look at it. Right. Yeah. Division okay. 4K60, baby. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, now this GameStop stock situation. So I'm going a, I'm to a tell you straight up. I don't know. I don't really care about this. I'm not. I've never been like a stock guy. Of like, you know, I, I did a little bit of it. They made us like learn about it in high school. But I've never been one to really like be into stocks and all that stuff. Um, I tried it out for a little bit, but I don't really, I don't really care about it. You know, um, I don't really care to really understand every everything that's happening with this GameStop stock. And I feel like a lot of people were just hopping on the bandwagon because, like, I'm like, if you if, if you really just if you really cared about investing in stocks, it wouldn't take this this news of GameStop. That's true. For you to start investing in stocks, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I feel like people are were just like, oh. This is everybody's doing it, so I'm gonna start investing in stocks and download Robinhood. I'm like, you could have been done that. You don't have to <laughs> wait. You don't have to wait for gaming to, you know, cross over into stocks for you to I suddenly. They figured you know, out, but, but I don't care about. They figured out. I don't out care about this. Shit. Go ahead, That's why people's hopping on it. Well, I got it explained to me. I can kind of go over, it, but I I probably fuck up. Um, I hope you go ahead. So pretty much, okay, so pretty much it's this shit called uh, shorting stocks, right? You short stocks or whatever, short sell them. So pretty much what you could do, it was these rich motherfuckers, they was, it's a thing to where you could borrow a stock that you do not own, right? You could borrow the stock you don't own, but you got to give it back. So pretty much they'll borrow a stock that's worth something, like it'd be worth $5. And when they borrow it, they're, they're, they they analyze this shit, right? So they, they plan on this stock to go down drastically, right? So when they get Jack, it Jack, back, stop, Jack, stop. What's up? One thing about short sales. What it is is when you buy a stock, you don't have to have the actual amount. If the stock yes, is worth a million dollars, you can pay ten dollars and owe the rest. If the sale doesn't go through, then you owe the whole entire amount. So yes. that's what they did. So pretty, so pretty, so, so pretty much they was going to borrow the stocks and sell them off, and then when it's time to give them back, they was hoping the stock wasn't worth the amount that they sold it for, right? So when they sell it back, get it back to stocks, they, they was going to pocket the rest of the money type shit, right? So I think they said GameStop stock was like worth like $11 or some shit back in December. So pretty much these rich motherfuckers bought all these stocks. They was trying to, they was going to give them back. But some motherfuckers on Reddit, they figured out a way to finesse it to where if they buy the stock too, and they increase the price. And pretty much what happened, the GameStop stock inflated to the point to where it was worth like $300, $400, right? So everybody that bought the stocks at these low-ass prices, by the time they had to pay it back, it was worth, you know, all this money. So pretty much they was fucking over some rich people, and they said they was going <laughs> to lose, like, in between 13 and $15 billion, right? That's why these dudes was crying on CNN and all that. I was wondering why they was mad and why they was crying, but apparently with, uh, you know, all us regular people investing in the, uh, the GameStop stock, it was fucking them over. So pretty much they tried to finesse these rich dudes and, uh, it was a, it the, was a whole situation. The hedge funds short sale the stock. The redditors were like, "Oh, you want to short it? We're gonna make it go up." Yeah, so pretty much, pretty much. Screwed. And now Robin Hood basically said, "Oh, we're gonna protect the hedge funds." They stopped. They they essentially stopped the free market, which just proves to you that uh, rich people run this fucking world. Pretty free much. market, my ass. It's free market as long as um, bond, bond. The type of work you do, you do understand why they did that, though, right? Because that was oh, going to screw over. That was going to screw over working people as well. You do know that, but, right? But the bottom line is this: you still have to take the consequences for every action. Yeah, but you do know what head fund contains of. Of course, yeah. you know this. All yeah, right. but I'm just, I'm just saying you can't have rules for one people and yeah. not. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But remember, you know, that a lot of people's pensions and stuff like that are yeah. involved in the type of things. Well, regardless yeah. of the consequences, you can't have rules for one people and not have the same rules for other people. They saw broke niggas getting money. They were like, we gotta we gotta cut into yeah. this shit. I'm not I'm not defending them. I do I do I do uh have what's called a pension, so I'm not defending them. I just need y'all to understand both sides of this. Yeah, and yeah, to yeah, the yeah, person yeah. And to the person who called me a moron, I had 70 shares of GameStop stock at four dollars. Just to let y'all know that. Oh so shit! Y'all can call me a moron. I, I, I hope you cash out. You cash out. <laughs> well, well, Mocha, unfortunately, in this situation, they did not want to accommodate broke niggas. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It, it was a lot okay. of fuckery with that, though, man. And, 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 and people. With that. And yeah, and, and people were getting into it like. 
on the back end of it, I'm like, y'all kind of late to the party. You're probably not going to really profit from this. Yeah, I know that much. Yeah. Like, so I'm like, why are y'all in a rush to download this app when you, you kind of like, you, you late to the party, which means you're not going to get, late, you're not going to benefit. No, it benefits. It benefits the people who already own the stock because it just goes up more for the people. I, think that I know already a couple of people they got in. They got a couple of hundred dollars out of it, like a little quick flip. But uh, yeah, yeah, you gotta know what you're doing with shit like that because that's you a that's a huge gamble. So yeah, do your research, man. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, next is there's a rumor that Microsoft is working on making another Bethesda level acquisition this year. Oh, that God. that Sega that S Sega acquisition rumor it, that's still up in in the year that it could be Sega, and uh, you know, I'm uh, you know Jack I can hear Jack shaking in his boots from here. He's still scared. He's no, still sir. trembling. No, I, I hear you. Buy a Japanese company. Well, yes. That's... Did, did I mean, I just your topic or what? <laughs> no, yeah, I didn't hear what you said. I said they can't legally buy a Japanese company. Why I can't they? I mean, I... Because that's Japanese law. Well, they got Tangle. Yeah, they could probably finesse it some type of way. There's a loophole. There, yeah, no, there's they, some, they probably there's, can there's finesse it some type of way. I think you got to buy something, and then that allows you to buy Se Sega or something like that, or like you got to have a headquarters somewhere, something like that. There's a loophole, ain't there? But uh, listen, I don't think. Uh, like they I said before, buy, months. they could buy uh, a lot, a big share of it, but they can't outright take it over. Like I said months ago, I don't know why they would want to buy Sega anyways. In my opinion, yeah. Sega is just a video game graveyard. It's an it's an IP graveyard. It's I, and there's nothing. I don't think there's one. Is there one game that Sega makes that I like? I'm not sure there is. Sega owns a lot of IPs though. Yeah, you tripping? And not one of them I care about. So yeah, they have their I, door, I, they're dormant. Yeah, and, and and even if even if they did, I'm still gonna play the game I want anyway. Even if they did get bought by Microsoft, so either way, this you know doesn't bother me. I don't. Nah, really see, I don't know. I don't think Sega is that. I, I think Sega is definitely a possibility, but if it's, but I don't know if I would consider them Bethesda level. You know what I mean? They gotta. I think if I say it, it's, it's like so, if it's Ubisoft, then I would say that yeah. Well, you got you, the Sega. Nah, Sega got y'all underestimating the shit Sega on. No, so Sega got a lot of shit, but they got a lot of shit for those like you no, know, um, those niche people. Like I don't like. Whoa! <laughs> what? I mean, ni niche. So like, oh, niche. Why you say it like you was French? What? what <laughs> niche. Oh, what does that even mean? You got a little cousin name, that don't you? Niche. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hood booger name. Like, okay, don't worry. You, you want you want to explain to us the definition of that word, smooth? I, I meant niche. It just it just it just the, the shit. Oh, <laughs> niche, niche. Yeah. Oh, bro, that that does that does sound like somebody cousin from Detroit. I was like, yeah, I'm like, damn, she fine. What's going on? <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Okay. I, we just want we just wanted to make sure who that was. Okay, yeah. okay. I, I think um, they're I think they're buying either. I think they got something um, with Ubisoft, or I think I think they're really buying um Bungie though. I think that's what I think they got. They're getting. Well, oh my god! Mm. Imagine Bungie finessing themselves like that would be hilarious, yo. Well, the thing is, Bungie can't afford to be independent. That's the problem. What? They ain't made enough money off all this Destiny. Bullshit. No, all right, all right. You gotta understand. It's and all right. They can't afford to sustain what they have by themselves. That's why they've had people like Microsoft in the past, and obviously Activision with Destiny. Yeah, publish their they, games. To publish it and whatnot. Uh, but the thing is, Activision as a publisher also provided resources, extra hiring for the teams for, for the content updates. They can't do that. That's why right now, currently right now, they're back working with Microsoft. For a support for Destiny Two after they left, but um after they left Activision, they can't. Do you know can't how much that. money is worth? I'm not saying that they're not worth. They can't afford to sell to. You saying they don't have enough money to operate on the saying, daily basis? Oh, oh they, they do. Do you know how much they're worth? Didn't they buy the independence the, to begin with from Microsoft? Like, yo, Bungie is a three hundred and eighty million dollar. I'm not sure they bought the independence. They just they sold what the Halo IP to Microsoft. Yeah. Or to do what they want to do. They are a three hundred and eighty million dollar company. Yeah, it seems like they would have the money. I don't know. Bungie is probably one of the richest developers out there. So what happens if they get acquired again, either by Microsoft or Tencent? 
they would why? have to sell. That would be their choice. Oh, man, that would be their choice. And why would you sell? Because they obviously why? can't why? afford to do it by themselves. Remember, they've been operating yeah. destiny by a big publisher backing them. Smooth. If you're going to ask a question, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Bob. Why would they sell? Because mm-hmm. if you're worth 375 billion, but Jack, I say, I want your company. Here's two billion. What you doing, Jack? There you go. <laughs> Shit. There you there go. You had it, just like just like Bethesda. I, I don't know how much Bethesda was worth, but if somebody comes out with a check for seven and a half billion, what you doing? Oh, there you go. Mm-hmm. Like the million dollar man said, everybody's got a price. Facts. Yes, sir. So what what, okay. what y'all think you say you think so you think they getting Sega smooth, think they getting somebody like a, a bunch of Yeah. yeah. I, as far I, I, as Japan technology and industry goes, you can only buy ten percent a non Japanese company can only buy up to ten percent of a Japanese company. Mm. Mm-hmm. So that's not. Uh, a, that's I know it was going to take place. I, I, would, you I know wouldn't mind if they got Bungie, to be honest. Sammy, Sammy, uh, that's what. Okay, so Sammy and Sega splitting up. Uh, Sega, they're going to either dissolve it, and Microsoft is going to recoup and name them like Xbox Japan or some shit like that. Who knows? Ew. I don't know. Hey, I don't know <laughs> if, they, if, they, if they can't just outright buy Xbox Sega like that. Japan. They got to do a workaround. But you can't buy Sammy either. They can't buy Sammy. That's why they're separating, isn't there? The whole thing is separate. They're splitting the arcade division and the gaming division. From what I know, you can only acquire up to a non-Japanese company can only acquire up to ten percent stock shares of a Japanese company. Ten percent is not enough to control it. Japanese. The reason, the reason why at one point Sony was able to acquire controlling shares of Square Enix when they were before they sold it back or sold it off is because Sony's a Japanese company. Which actually, when you think about it, does give Nintendo and Sony an advantage because they can buy Japanese and American developers, but Microsoft can't. True, because Microsoft made an offer to Square Enix back in the day. Mm. But here's here's another question. Were the laws different back in the day when Microsoft tried to buy Nintendo? Yeah, how would they have been able to do that? So, you know, you go. The laws must have been different back then. I think think they know a way to finesse that shit, to be honest. They'll Mm. figure out a way. I think there's a workaround. Yeah, they, they got they're lawyers have, for a reason. They're, 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 they're going to have Microsoft have, Japan or Xbox Japan somewhere? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> like, they would have to have five different shell companies of Microsoft buy 10% each to control it. They'll do it? Shit. Okay, well, we're going to wake up one morning and hear about some acquisition, Hey, I'm now, sure. they get Sega BG, I want a formal apology in video form. For because, what? Because For your what? Little narrow, Sega's irrelevant. Because, no, because your little narrow-head alien built ass <laughs> set up for your Matter of Yo. fact, I got a text document on my computer, right? And I scroll down, I still got the weapon wheel marked down when your bitch ass was trying to tell me I'm, you're overreacting, Jack Move. Look at him, let's point and laugh, everybody. Wow. Now, okay, okay, right, first of all. Right, I want to apologize. Okay, see, this is this is why you were tripping because this this rumor happened. What was this like in September? Yeah. So that mean I I I, I and, 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 that mean and, I and, and you and, and 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 you were like you you were sweating barbecue sauce no, back sir. then. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Like yo, he think he's funny today, he's funny today. Bro, <laughs> you were sweat. Bro, you were sweating barbecue sauce in September. That's spicy where it's honey. it's yeah. about it's about, it's about to be February now, and it still hasn't happened. So what you losing your mind for all the way back sure, then? Listen, all I know if it's a shit comes true, I need a formal apology. That's all I'm asking. All right, thank so you. Sweating barbecue sauce. Crab spicy honey, by the way. Yes, sir. I mean, if it helped BG, I first heard about Microsoft and Bethesda back in 2019. See? <laughs> so, See? I, mean, I, I just thought it was smoke and mirrors until the shit happened. <laughs> and I'm I'm not and I'm not saying they won't acquire Sega or or Bungie. My thing is with Jack is why are you losing your mind before it? I Listen, I'm the type of not, guy. I just voiced you, my bro, opinion. you were crying. No, you were crying. Just because I have high inflections on my voice, BG, does not mean I was crying. So I was, I was voicing my concerns Listen, with the current situation. Okay, I, I, I'm just the type of guy that I don't worry about things until they get here. I'm not gonna that's be. Why you, you that's, know, that's why your that's why your internet crashes every time when the yo, uh, you, you got oh man, <laughs> that's, that's yeah, exactly you got me. why. You, you got me. You, you got me. 
were not proactive. You were instead of being proactive about a problem, you wait till it happens. Exactly. It was crazy. I cross the bridge when I get there, and then we yeah, improvise. Yeah. I'm not about to lose my mind, you know, for something that may happen months from now. That's, Die, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. BG, BG's wife's like, you got car insurance? BG talking about now nah, get it when I get into an accident. Pretty much. Yeah, he want them, <laughs> he want, he want them type dudes. Man. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, hey, we we not, first of all, we not going to act like insurance. Insurance is like the greatest scam in human history. Okay. Yeah. So I have insurance yeah, 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 on everything. Yeah, that's what it's so necessary. Yeah. So I have, I have, like, I have uh, house insurance, car insurance. I have insurance on everything, right? But let's internet. not, like, let's not, yeah, we should. Let's not act like insurance ain't a scam because it, it you do everything in your power to prevent using it, but you pay for it your whole life. Like, hey, man. it's a scam. Necessary. Yeah, it's the worst shit in the world. And the fact that it's required to in some cases. Hey, man. You ever have somebody run into your car and total it? Yeah, I did. So I, I get it. I get it. And were you happy you had insurance then? I was happy I he had insurance. I was happy he had insurance. Hey man, but um, yeah, Jack, stop. Yeah, it 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 ain't worth crying over, Jack. You can I, keep, I you keep all that. Crazy. Okay, all right. And what you go? What you gonna do if they do buy him? You gonna get a? You gonna get an Xbox, right? I just want my formal. So I have a gaming PC. So I want my formal apology. That's all I want. Hold, hold on. When do you got a gaming PC? Sir, I have a he jiggy top. I have a jiggy top, sir. A jiggy. Yeah, 30, 30 boss, series jiggy tops are, are hitting the market. I might, you know, invest in one. You know what I mean? Jack, yes, if you don't cut it, a nigga, you can run a Sonic. They fucking Jack, up that you, you, Jack, you run Sonic and that thing overheating. Stop it. Stop, BG. I that think thing you overheating might, and you're playing Sonic. BG. Don't do that. I think you might, um, Regain your love for streaming if you get a PC. That, that don't even yeah. sound that don't even sound real. What you're saying, Mocha? You know that, right? I'm not saying you have to uh, play a PC game. You can use the capture card and, and yeah. um, you know, play your PlayStation. I games have, I have my love for streaming back already. I just can't stream for because ja play. Jack been Jack been moping around here. You know, on the virtual, you know, on the virtual landscape. Crying. I don't feel like streaming no more. You know, I don't <laughs> feel I like like no more. Man, nigga, hold on. What's going on? That's how you be crying, well, like oh, they on, telling man. me to stream, and I don't want to stream. No, no. <laughs> you got me something like a single. You sound like Terrence Howard. <laughs> Who dude is this? Yo, yeah. like Jack, if you don't just stream, you ain't doing nothing else. This nigga, Jack, be, be the I busiest. Be all business moves, man. I can't be talking about. You all be the things. unbusiest, busiest nigga I ever met, bro. Yes. Like, you don't be doing nothing. I be, I be plied, man. Let me. I ain't uh, work, and yeah, you have nice streams too. I wish you would do it more often. I will stream again. I like them. Can we get these uh, likes up? They're looking a little niche. <laughs> <laughs> yes. For real though, we only got we only got one seventy. Yo, anybody get these likes up? Let me see. Did I like the video. Let me see. I did like the video. All right. This man. All right. So uh, okay. Okay. We we almost done. Um, I'm gonna consolidate some of these uh some of these topics. We don't really gotta talk about these. It's almost eight thirty. Um, there's an Immortal Phoenix Rising demo out now. So if you yep. were on the fence about the game, uh, game, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna try the demo because I definitely wasn't about to about to buy it. Um, I'm gonna try the demo. It's it's on. I know it's on PS4 and PS5. I assume it's on Xbox also. Yes. Uh, uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, EA opened up a new studio. It's called Full Circle, and they're working on just skate games. They just so, opened up the studio making that? Yeah. That that's that's yeah. So the, game away is off. the count the countdown until they close the studio starts now. Cause oh, you already know what EA. I mean with the you name already full know circle, you just got to assume it's gonna get closed eventually. I mean shit. Facts. So yeah, EA uh, opened up a new studio for that. Um Biomutant. That's a game uh Ubisoft. I think that's by Ubisoft, right? I think they're publishing it. Um that was announced a long time ago. It finally has a release date of May 25th. So put that on your calendars. Uh, Lord of the Rings Gollum. That game was delayed until 2022. It was looking like trash anyway. Uh, Ke Ke Kevin Hart was... Kevin Hart is going to be... Um, is going to be in the Borderlands movie as Roland. Mm -hmm. Which makes oh, which no. makes 
If you play it's, Borderlands, which makes absolutely no sense, because Roland is the like the one character in that game who is like not serious. funny. He's like not a joke. He's a very serious character. Everybody in that in in the game is a joke, and they and even if you don't believe Kevin Hart is funny anymore, like why would you cast him as Roland? I don't I don't get that move. Is a rock I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> You know he ain't too far behind. You know, come on, man. Facts, facts. Yo, they put the rock in everything. Especially when Kevin Hart is there. Jeez, uh, yeah, I yeah. So I didn't even remember there was going to be a Borderlands movie until they said they announced Kevin Hart to be in it. Uh, what else is there? Oh, MLB the Show. Um, we saw some leaked footage of the Xbox cover because oh MLB, God. you know, is going multi. <laughs> MLB shit, is going multi plat. That shit hurt, bro. You don't even you like be- you don't even like baseball. I know, what, man. It's just, uh, I don't know. Man. You know what's funny about this? MLB the show gonna be the first triple A quality Xbox first party game released. It just looked crazy, so, bro. Like, I don't know, man. So yes, this this is this is officially, I believe, the first PlayStation published game to be on an Xbox platform. Alright. I thought they would have just now this <laughs> outsourced it around. It's gonna right. be interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see who supports this game at a seventy dollar price tag on the Xbox side because these. It's gonna be like, oh, hold on a sport game seventy dollars. You know it's gonna be seventy. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, Sony know. games are seventy bucks and two K is seventy. So yeah, yeah, I yeah. Mad Mad buying that Mad shit. seventy if you buy it on a. But then Xbox. again, um, just buy the Xbox One version is sixty. Now. Who else is going to be supporting this game over their own team? Because here's my right. thing, right? MLB The Show is pretty... It's Okay, baseball is America's pastime, right? But was. the MLB The... Okay, you could probably say it's football now, but MLB The Show is... You could actually say it's kind of niche. Like, it... <laughs> it doesn't sell that much. It doesn't sell that much, I mean, bro. It's, only like, on one, it's only on one platform. Now it's on multiple, so... Well, you can't even say that though, because a lot of games on one platform sell. I don't know, man. It sells a couple million every yeah, year. Yeah, it's, it's still pretty good for what it is, yo. And uh, so, I, and, yeah, I, so I don't see it selling. It's not going to sell more on Xbox. That's not going to happen. I can't wait to get it on PC with mods. Though, I'll tell you. I'm that. trying to figure out, bro, because people keep saying. Now, this is what's crazy to me, right? Because I tweeted and I've been saying this. It would be funny if this game was to hit Game Pass and not PlayStation Now or or PS Plus. And you know, I had to. These niggas had the nerve, the audacity, the unmitigated gall, right? To respond to me with shit like, that would never happen. <laughs> that wouldn't happen, you dickhead. That wouldn't happen, idiot. <laughs> but wait a minute. So you mean to tell me you... So a game being a PlayStation public game on Xbox was a possibility for you two or three years ago? You stupid motherfucker. <laughs> you would have said that would never happen too, right? So now, nothing isn't... Pa- Listen, bro, if you don't think Anything's that possible. game can hit Game Pass, you're a fucking idiot, okay? I got a fucking swamp in Louisiana I want to see on your goofy ass. So I had to block some people on Twitter because y'all didn't really lost y'all rabbit ass minds these past couple of days. But uh, I digress. Carry on. Yeah, uh, anything's, anything's, you know, possible now. It's, you know. Except for Microsoft making good games. Oh, man. <laughs> Seems uh, like everything. Possible. Wait, don't you play Flight Sun? Yeah. Oh shit. I don't see that on Xbox, do I? I coming soon. Coming soon. It's, it's, it's technically, it's on Xbox. Boot it up for me. Sure. All right. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Windows button. Go to Xbox Game Pass on my PC. Here we go. <laughs> That's uh, how it works. It's on PC. Okay. It's not on Xbox. It's on Xbox Game Pass. Which wait, 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 wait. Wait, he's playing it through the Xbox app? You can't yeah. play, you can't play that game on an Xbox. You can play it on Xbox Game Pass. I ain't it moving you it. It's coming to Xbox, right? Play that game on an Xbox move. You can play this game on Xbox Game Pass. Are you talking about the, the flight stick? You cannot play that game on an Xbox move. The game is available for Xbox Game Pass. Game Pass is on phones and PC. You wait, cannot wait, play well, bon, game bon, on bon, bon, bon. How do you boot the game up? What app do you use to boot it up? Steam. Okay, Game Pass. I don't play <laughs> well shit on Game Pass. First of all, here's the problem with the Microsoft and Windows Store on Game Pass, which you've already said a billion times. Games, for whatever reason, 
run worse on the Microsoft Store than they do on Steam. Yes, that's facts. Whatever the reason is, it's, it's the facts. Smooth ain't been taking the bait today. What's going on, Smooth? What? He's, you, he's risen above it. You, you ain't really been taking the bait today. I don't like this shit. What's going on, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Bob, I've been talking crazy above for it, an hour and a half. You ain't, ain't really, you know what I mean? New year, new smooth. He's risen above oh, it. He, he only got one bet on file. Oh, that's what's going on. Okay, okay. That Starfield ain't coming out this year. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well pay that bet up right now. Oh, no, I might uh, trade that bet for a Super Bowl, bro, because I think, I, think, um, I think I got that one. Bad. Tom Brady loses, dog. Let's not talk about it. Oh, no, man. Uh, I've been, like, let's not talk about it. I've been mentally betting myself and not been winning. Been three and zero. Men- mentally betting yourself. <laughs> now, do you remember what you actually bet on, or you just think you won? Using his own bro? superpower, for we, yo, you know, you know what smooth is. Smooth is like the reverse domino of X Men. Oh man. Yep. Yep. Thanks. I mean, smooth. Right. If you if you want, you know, Tampa Bay to win, you just you know. Bet the Chiefs. The Tampa Bay Gronkineers? Oh, man. No, that's true. I'm about to go into right. the betting app and put some big money on it. We oh, got to finish God. the topics. Well, I, don't, I... I don't have an app, Smoo. <laughs> <laughs> got to finish the topics. So uh, YouTube is getting a clipping feature, taking a you know an obvious, another great Yay. feature from uh, Twitch. So uh, when that feature comes around, you know, y'all should, you know, everybody, you know, watching, y'all should take some great clips of Weapon Wheel episodes and, you know, clip that, upload it, share it to Twitter and all the good stuff. We we expect that when that feature comes around, all right? I think that's uh, also... Niche. You say you think what? That feature is a little niche for my taste. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, also, Returnal has been delayed a month uh, to April 30th, so we got to wait a whole nother month to play Returnal. Well... Um, you know, and when it was already dry out here, uh, I, I think they probably working on the performance in that game. I could see that game like being very demanding with all these particle effects and all this. You know, in, in, the, in the trailer, got, all these games are at sixty with particle effects. <laughs> they got subtle frame dips in the trailer, though, from what I saw. Anyway, yeah, yeah, like, yeah I think tough, that's what they're working on. A little bit, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we'll talk about it then. Um. The Balan Wonder World or Wonderland demo. I don't remember which well, one it is. The game shit out of you for not knowing about this game, BG. Hey, yo. That joint's hilarious. Listen, I... <laughs> now, it's the dude that I forgot Listen. what game he made. He made another popular game, yo. I forgot, though. Well, yeah, the demo came out, and people were like, the demo is terrible. Like, it, it runs really bad. Uh, and there probably is apparently some bugs in it or whatever. So. I know Blandrew played it. I don't know if anybody else had given him a chance. Um, it's no? not, it's not okay. currently on my radar. I and respect, I respect exactly. everybody looking forward to it. Though, demo, I, I wasn't feeling it. You played it? The demo, yeah, I played the demo. Mm, what is it like? Any quick thoughts? Um, It's very bright, colorful, nice music. It reminds me of a Nintendo game, but um, I just didn't have any fun with it. Because uh, I'm, I, I guess I haven't... I don't understand quite what exactly I'm doing. I feel like I'm putting on different suits. You get different jumping ab- abilities, but I don't know. And, and you can only play as girl characters, by the way. There's no male characters. Like little girls you're playing as. What game mm-hmm. is this? Yeah, Battle in Wonderworld. Well, I've never heard of it. It's like a pla- mm-hmm. It plays like a, like a platformer. Okay. Yeah. It, it's probably trash. All right. Um... Rumor that Death Stranding is getting an extended edition um, on PS4 and PS5. God damn. But uh, that game, that is not a good game, and you should not support it. Uh, y'all already know my know, BG, y'all BG, already BG. know my stance it's on Death Stranding. Not, it's not that bad, BG. Do not support that game. That game should not exist. That game should fail in every way imagined. The, the, the game, the game is not as bad as you're portraying. I, you I'm know what's not, crazy? Okay. I've never heard anyone dog it as much as you. People that have actually no, played and beat the game do I not dislike it, it. I dog it plenty. It's a Kojima game, though. The thing is, the thing is, it's not a bad game, but I don't I don't see where it need to be extended at either. That game kind of long, you know? It took me like 40 hours mm-hmm. to beat that game. 
You walked for 40 hours? Yeah, man. <laughs> it's, it's, more, it's more to the game than that. I think the ending really, uh, you know, saved and pulled it together. But, uh, you know, if, if people right. spent as much time walking in real life as they did in that damn game, they'd be fucking in phenomenal shape. I don't know. You seeing the shots right now? Hold on. Let me find out. I'm just saying anybody. <laughs> I've been, I've been, oh, yeah, I, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm well, if you be putting back. fucking 50 packages on your back like he was doing shit, he had uh, yeah. cybernetic legs, back. too, though. Like, I might be built like LeBron James if oh, yeah. I did that shit in Absolutely. real life. Absolutely. Absolutely. The game is okay. okay. BGB hate. Well, yeah, I, I, I wish nothing but bad things for that entire <laughs> game. <laughs> nothing but bad things, bro. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, the Bayonetta 3 creator, I forgot his name. Yeah. Uh, you talking he's about uh, Kamiya, Kamiya. Yeah, yeah, I know. Listen, and I know people in the comment section be like, "Oh, beach that they do with search." No, I just don't care about dog shit games. Like, you know, Bayonet is trash. So yes, when it comes to games that are trash, I I don't give them the full amount of research and like try to know everything about them because it's not worth knowing about. Bayonetta is a trash franchise, okay? And I'm and I, and I'm not saying that as like revisionist history. I bought the I bought Bayonetta day one when it was a multi plat PS one PS I'll buy PS one PS three and on on and Xbox three sixty bought it day one for sixty dollars played it for three hours and I was like this game is garbage. So I thought that all the way back then. Okay, Speak this is on. not new because it's on the Nintendo Switch and it's and it, it's exclusive to Nintendo. I always thought the game was bad. So no, I don't I don't care to know all the fine details about the game and Kamiya or Kamea Maya, whatever his name is, I don't care. Okay, <laughs> what you are okay, who he is. You are Yo, you remember when that game ran at 30 frames on the PS3 but 60 on the Xbox? Sheesh. Bad the, oh, that, those were the days. Bro. Oh yeah, they um but uh you know they haven't shown Bad Another Three in over three years, right? They've only they've only shown the one trailer. I heard they were gonna I since it's Baron's favorite game franchise, I heard they were gonna release it when he wins his first match. No, oh, we gonna have to, oh, oh, <laughs> we gonna be waiting for that motherfucker to get shit. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> he actually had a very good match against Ray Phoenix this week. Yeah, he's been doing his thing, he's been doing his thing. <laughs> Oh, and I don't, I don't know if I got to my point. Uh, K- Kamiya, K- Kamehameha Wave, he said um, he said to that fans should just forget about the game for now. Like, he, he's man, tired of people asking about it. Man, what type of shit? Man, what type of shit is that, bro? This, see, that, <laughs> that's you, can't, you can't say that after... Why announce it? Why show that JPEG? Now, you think, you're thinking about... Um, you're thinking about uh, Metroid. But ben, the... Banner three, three had a trailer. Banner three had a trailer. trailer. Okay, but why announce it if it, like like? Great point. I don't know. And you know what's crazy? Now this is a problem. I'm seeing Ninja Theory moving in the same direction, just not as bad so far. But Platinum Game. Not only did he say ignore Ban <laughs> Banner three's existence, we're announcing another game soon. Bitch, release that one. What the? What are y'all doing, bro? Like, why y'all keep announcing new games without releasing the one you got coming out? Crazy. Sounds like mm. um three four three. <laughs> hey man, it's they just... announce new games. They they've only ever worked on Halo. Shout they did say that the game is done. They're just polishing it now. That's a good thing. Yeah, yep. they did. So uh, let me see. Oh, Reggie did an interview. Uh, he talked about the Wii U and the Nintendo Switch, and he. You know, admit it, even though there's some some Nintendo fans around here that still deny that the Wii U was a was a failure and they think the whole like life the lifetime of the Wii U, what did it last, four years or whatever it was? Some of some people believe that it was planned. Reggie in this interview admitted, like, yeah, it was a failure. In in other words, he you know, he pretty much admitted it didn't live up to the expectations, it was a failure. And he said the Nintendo Switch was a make or break console for Nintendo, that they, you know, I they agree. really needed to succeed with Yeah, it. of course. With the the yeah. way that Wii U failed, if they had another Wii U, that shit could have been in trouble. Yeah. yeah. Bro, the, v, the Vita outsold the Wii U, like, that shit. Agreed. Like, the Dreamcast on us was comparable to that bitch. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can't release two main consoles and them joints sell, like, 13, 14 million. Like, you gonna be in trouble, dog. Yep. That's the yep, and the, and the last thing... Uh, the shadow of uh, Warner Bros. tried to patent. They filed the patent. Actually, it didn't go 
through yet, but apparently they did this a few years ago. They tried to file a patent for the Nemesis system in Shadow of Mordor because mm. it was, you know, it was so good. And, uh, you know, I, I don't throw the word around. I don't throw innovative around much, but I believe that system was pretty innovative. And a lot of uh, games have copied a similar um, mechanic to their games to the, to the Nemesis system. So they're trying to, like, file a patent. Uh, don't they realize you can't file patents to gameplay mechanics? Exactly. If that was the case, they would have uh, fucking Rockstar or whoever made Max Payne would have did the bullet time shit. PUBG tried to do that shit, and look where it got them. Yeah. So I, so the article I read said you, they they can file a patent, but like it can't be very specific. So even if you file the patent for it, like other developers could still do very similar, make a very similar oh, system and name, system. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and not infringe on the patent because you can't be very specific. And say, oh, our patent is for this system and yep. that does this. So it doesn't really do anything for them. But they tried to file one. Yeah, all that shit is very, like, patents and trademarks and copyrights and shit. It's, it's very, like, like I said, like, uh, the other shit, it got loopholes. So, yeah. People can finesse that shit. Yep. Um, all right. That's all the topics. Let me do these super chats. Hold on, hey, BJ, you gonna tell them we ain't gonna be here a couple of these weeks, yo? Uh, well, okay, so next week is the Super Bowl, so we're not having Weapon Wheel um, next week. And the week after is Valentine's Day, and I don't know about you lonely losers, but uh, I have someone to spend spend time with, okay? Uh, oh, yeah, we, 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 we ain't doing it. You know what, BG? Everybody in the comment section, when they talking, they all fucking the baddest bitches, so we ain't doing it next We ain't doing it Valentine's Day neither, niggas. No, yeah, yeah. Is anybody a baller? Hey, hey, these ba- yeah, yeah, yeah. Bond got like three, four, you know, models that Facts. you know he gonna pick from which one he want to take out. So it's no, listen, it, y'all could do. I don't do that Valentine's Day thing, man. Oh yeah, I forgot, I forgot. Well, yeah, yeah, so if, if somebody's official, then yes, but I don't want anybody to think there's some they're not. So listen, y'all could do the podcast on the fourteenth, but I won't be here. Okay, man, I'm 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 gonna be jacking off on the candlelight on Valentine's Day. (laughs) (laughs) Eating a a TV dinner, nigga. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) I love myself, nigga. Yeah. (laughs) No podcast. Yo, (laughs) nigga, Jack go draw draw a whole face on his head. (laughs) No podcast, goddamn it. What the yo? So so we may not be here for the next two weeks. Jack gonna have a niche Valentine's yes, Day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want yeah, better so... for you, Jack. Very Who the hell is Sophie knows better? Who the hell is that? I don't know. But, Somebody yeah, said Jack. It. We we all want better for you, bro. Thank, thank you. I, I Mocha appreciate, wants I better for you. We, we gotta help. I appreciate that. We gotta help Jack out, Mocha. You ain't got you ain't got like a, a girl, a home girl, a sister, somebody like. She you got know? a sister. She twenty. What? She chill the fuck out, Bond. No, Bond put the ball in your red. You just said you're trying to help Jack out. That's crazy. Anyway. Shout out to y'all, though, man. Look, you shouldn't be asking Mocha. You should be asking me. But at the end of the day, I told you the solution. Get your ass out of Memphis. Oh, man. Hate to see it. What, Memphis don't, Memphis don't got quality women? Hell no. <laughs> I'm going to keep my thoughts to myself. Out to Memphis. <laughs> they might run up at Jack's house. <laughs> yeah, but what you said, but <laughs> the bitch might set me up, man. I ain't trying to, hey, listen. With Beautiful the, women. So, yeah, love licking. all y'all. Damn. All right. All right. Uh, super chats. Uh, Doom Doom Ewell says, BG, sell your AMC shares and get some better internet. All right. Y'all got me. Y'all on my ass about this internet. I know. Y'all, y'all got me. Uh, he also said, How many Microsoft shares does Kids Smooth own? Oh, do you do, do you own any smooth? No, they're too expensive. Mm, no, you're okay. too broke. How much they cost? How much? Ain't it like four hundred now? <laughs> One share, so god good. damn. Yeah. Okay. Um, Almighty Moreland says, not to be too racial, but the character's ethnicity matters way more to me than the gender. I'll play a black woman over a white man any day. What game I could, star black women? Now we're on that subject. Uh, the, the uh, black women. 
What's that shit called? Um, Come on, Mocha, help us out. Death Loop. Death Loop. Death Loop is coming out. Well, what about not um, a lot. Dandara? And and the Lost Legacy would she be black or no? Yeah, and they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. and, and you still don't play as. Listen, we we just started getting like black male characters, so <laughs> the industry you they gonna start they, like it's gonna take another ten years they for them to like extent. get to black women. You you is mean it, not Clementine? You, you mean non-white main characters? Yeah, yeah, Clementine. Not even just black yeah. men. On white ones, yeah. Clementine, yeah, but you. Oh yeah, wasn't wasn't uh the dude? What was the dude that? Well, he got yeah, he died. Uh, spoilers. What's his name that was taking care of Clementine? Wasn't he black? Lee. Or was he just Lee? Lee. Was Lee. Was it... Oh, okay. Man, I wanna. Okay, this is off topic, but for the people who say Joe was a mass murderer, but they play The Walking Dead and they love Lee, and he was literally on his way to prison for murdering his girl. Make it make sense, but anyway. Damn, he did that. Damn, I'm, Literally, the game. I'm gonna have to go back and play. Yeah, I, I was looking at somebody playing. I ain't Word, they, yeah, they yeah. never really let you know for sure, though. Oh, oh no, no, the game he started did, with him on his way to prison. Yeah, he's in the back of the car. Wife for having an affair. affair. Oh, oh, I didn't know yeah. if he really did it. Okay, Damn. okay, good, 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 good. I didn't Damn. know. I got, I, I got a good one for black female characters because this is a while ago. Sheva. Resident Evil 5. Resident Evil, yeah. Oh, oh I yeah, thought you, you I was I thinking thought... of uh, Final Fantasy. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. You got I'm that chick from Assassin's, from Assassin's Creed. Creed. Resident Evil 5 was how yeah, long? Resident Evil 5, yeah. Resident that shit came out like 05. Yeah, and they and they didn't do sh like she was just she was a one off. Like usually with Resident Evil characters, like they always get most of them get brought back and like get a continued storyline. They you never heard about her again. She was a one-off badly. She was really just a skin, just for for co-op. That's yep. all she was, bro. I played a Sheva when I played. I always game. made my friend in college play as I was like Sheva, Sheva. No, yeah, but remember when the yeah, game came out? They were like, "Oh, you shooting black people in Africa?" They were like, yeah, "What?" Yeah, 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 yeah. And they had me up and play the game. They're like, "Hold well, up." To, to be fair, they also complained that you were shooting Spanish people in RE4. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, like I mean, I Resident Evil is very equal opportunity when it comes to clapping people. I mean, if a yeah, motherfucker yeah, yeah. trying to eat you, you might, you know, I don't really get it. Never, right never been any, um, zombies. Oh, speaking, speaking of Asian people, uh -oh. let's get back to the Spider-Man game, because I just beat it. That's a great game. That game could not come out right now. They would be arresting no. every, just think about it, that was real. With the coronavirus and that Wu-Tang Clan gang, They'd be arresting every <laughs> Asian person in New York. <laughs> did you just did you just call the mat the mass dudes Wu Tang? Like what, sir? Yes, whatever their name was, the Black Dragons or whatever those dudes yeah, were. Mr. Negative, Martin Lee's Martin Lee's gang. They, they, they would be having. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to walk the streets as in between the the Corona <laughs> the, the, the C virus and those dudes. You would not be able to walk the streets if you were an Asian. They they'd be having you in the wagon. Yeah. Okay. Um Helvete Helvet or Helvete Over says Game Pass is the local snow bunny ratchet trash and rotten. Jeez. Hold on, I'm confused. Okay. He's, snow, Game snow Pass is he said Snow Bunny's he, he and Ratchet game. is an oxymoron, though. Now some, some Ratchet white uh, women out there. The main Snow Bunny's, those are like... Yeah. No, that, that, that's, that's TP. Um, Forget Me Not red. says, teach your kids not to be blessed red. Simple. <laughs> uh, yeah, wow. Hey, yo, hey, yo, no blessed red disrespect, Shout man. To... I think I'm lagging. Am I lagging? No. Nah. No blessed red disrespect, man. That's my guy right there. West Red. Is that the guy everybody has a problem with? Apparently, yeah. He better take his ass to church. Damn. He's not so blessed. Yeesh. Damn, is the stream lagging now? That was so corny, I laughed. <laughs> be funny. Is the stream lagging? What the fuck going on? Just straight up not blessed. I ain't dropping no frames, though. Hmm. I need know. the connection dropped again. I know I'm saying how's it dropping, but I'm not dropping no frames. The fuck? The snow got everything wild. 
It's not even snowing out here, though. Yeah, my Twitter stopped responding, so, um... So, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Wait, BG Internet... Fu- That's what I'm saying. BG Internet fucking up right now, so it fuck Like, how the fuck the stream up? He's not even streaming. I'm streaming. It's, it's stream is live to me. Is it? Let me check. It should be. <clears throat> It's, it's, it's like it's like live. On my end. 609 it's, people watching. It's loading on my end, but it don't. It's not showing me that it's fucking up. <laughs> VG sent it again. <laughs> I hope you got some good after dark topics. I doubt it. Yeah, they still see it. They do. Okay. Well, my sh- my internet's just fucking up right now, then. Otherwise, me and Mocha gonna have to take over after dark. What did mean? Well, there was something that said that I agreed with Mocha on. We got to talk about that. Oh, let me go find these other donations so I can read them. BG's a fucking clown. Let me see. But he want to talk about the Predator thing? No. Jimmy, we're not <laughs> doing that. We're not doing that tonight, Jimmy. All right. <laughs> okay, my no, I don't believe you, Mocha. I don't believe you. <laughs> my shit not even loading up. I was going to read the rest of the donations. I think, right? I think right? I'm not in the group chat, man. Yeah, I think, I think, I think uh, uh, one, one of them was dudes. We'll move on if girls act up. And what was the other one that Mocha said she wanted to put on the flag? She said something and like, oh, Bond's going to roast you, Mocha. And I was like, Mocha, right. I don't what you talking about? Oh, y'all can see it? All right. Let me see if I can switch accounts. I hate when dudes say dumb shit and then expect me to co-sign it. I'm like, nah, Mocha, right. <laughs> Shut up. Huh. My internet's lagging now too. I was gonna switch accounts and read the rest of the super chats, but uh, let me see. Why is it doing this? Can I see the super chats? I doubt it. Okay, hold on. I gotta get on BG channel. I'm trying to switch real quick. Oh my. Why did it do this at the end of a fucking podcast? Well, I guess Memphis internet's not too much better. Hey, Xfinity been fucking me over here. Nobody ain't been streaming. My internet keep fucking up every time I want to stream. Oh, yeah, you do us saying that, yo. And it, and, it, and it worked yesterday, but now it's back fucking up again today. Like, I don't get it, bro. I do not get it. Oh, my. Where the fuck is BG at? Oh, he in, a the black, chat. he in the chat. I see him in the chat. Is he? A black chick just won the Royal Rumble. Really? Word. Yeah. Oh, let me switch my fucking account. So, a chick? They, well, have, they have a, a female they have a now, women's too. Women's oh, okay. They have both. All right, let me try to load this shit up one more time, yeah. Well, WrestleMania is going to be two black girls versus each other. Real shit. Bianca versus uh, Sasha Snoop Banks. WWE's so fucking trash now, though, yeah? Like, I don't know. I know. I'm surprised I know who that is. I, I haven't watched that watch like I used to. Yo, I, I was flipping through the channels. I just happened to come up, upon TNA Impact. Between TNA Impact and AEW, they have the worst representation of black women ever. <laughs> Anytime either show has a black woman on, all they'd be talking about is pulling out hair, your weave this. I'm just like, God, can we like stop degrading black women like this? All right, I think I'm fair. I got the Y'all hear me? Oh, now yeah, you back yeah. when I get the fucking w- I, I I had to get on my phone because yeah, bro, it's it's rough. It's still rough out here. All right, let me, let me keep going. Um, where what he is? Uh, Sky is the limit. Nineteen ninety four said, "Can BG give us a review score for that Pornhub video he low key watched?" I I did not watch Thanks. one, sir. I I I did not watch any Pornhub video. Um. Mr. Whitaker says, two gotta go. Capcom, Sucker Punch, Insomniac Games, Rockstar, Naughty Dog, Santa Monica, and Rocksteady. Damn. Rock, Rocksteady going, that's for sure. Um, Rocksteady and... Uh, I get rid of Sucker Cap- Punch. Yeah, Rocksteady and Sucker Punch. Capcom can't go. I agree. Rockstar, Rockstar can't go. Yeah, I agree. All right. Um, Doom Ewell says people still talk about Superman sixty four. Does that mean it's the greatest of all time? It's no. a very. Oh, he was talking about. He was talking about what Mocha said. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That means it's very but polarizing. Yeah. yeah, it's polarizing. Well, Superman is just is just bad, but uh, Last of Us is polarizing. Bro, yeah, I could I like couldn't it. beat the second level on Superman sixty four, yo. Like no cap, I could never I I could never beat it. I don't know what the fuck I was doing wrong. She was crazy. 
I remember seeing that shit at Game Power for ninety dollars. Woo! I almost bought this shit for like thirty five. I think I ended up getting it for like fifteen. That game sucked, bro. God damn. <laughs> Hustle Man 1981 says, peace to Ryan. He he just puts out everybody's government. Do y'all, are y'all okay with y'all government being out here? Nah, that's good. Just skip the names. Well, everybody knows my name. Um, he says, peace to uh, Bond. Bond's real name, Smooth's real name, Kenneth Johnson. Me. Did he put full uh, names out? Yeah, yeah, he put full names, like everybody's full name. Um, John, John Hartsfield, everybody knows Jack's real name. Um, Victoria Mocha. He said, he said in parentheses by Jack, in, in parentheses by Jack, he put, come out the closet, though, bro. Uh, oh, hey, wow. Then, hey, I'm going to keep it like this, though, right? I'll come out the closet. You got to agree to suck my dick live on stream. <laughs> oh, my. Yo, what was going down? If you say, if you say yes, Yo, I'll say yes. <laughs> Straight like that. Let's get it, goddammit. <laughs> Yo, that's hustle, you fuckers? I don't know who that is. <laughs> who is that? No, nah, nah, that's not hustle and motivate. That's oh, hustle I'm, just I'm just letting them know shit. Oh, okay. Like, wait, hey, look, look. I got to say, we can, we, can handle, we can handle that right now. We can handle that right now. Yes, sir. Yeah. No. <laughs> Hold on. Who the hell is that? Yeah. Nah. Nah. What's good, what's good, bro? There we go. That's hustle. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, there that's we awesome. go. Yeah, what's good, bro? Okay. I didn't yeah, know there was another one. one. Yeah, I didn't that's know there was another one right here. <laughs> Won't play them Bati Boy games. None of that. I'm going. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, he had to clear his name real quick. All right. Um... Speaking of, my name is not Victoria. It's Tori, and that's it. Is that your government name or is it Victoria? No, it's Tori. Just Tori. All right. Uh, Hel Helvete Ulver says women and kids should be seen, not heard. Uh, <laughs> oh, shut up, bitch. <laughs> oh man, yo, y'all wilder than that, yo. I mean, I, I agree with the I agree with the kids part, but not the women part. Oh shit! Hey, y'all stupid. Boys wilding out. Yo, what's going on tonight? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's crazy. Yeah, wild. Flaffy101 says the vaccine wasn't also 100% going to work in The Last of Us. That's true. That's true. Yep. Uh, for, Forget Me Not said, nah, BG, you didn't fight for Bleeding Edge like you fought for Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, that's true. That's true. I still play Marvel even now sometimes. Um, Doom Eel says, did Black Bond become a millionaire from test from Tesla shares? No, but Huntmaster Flex did. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> Rocks the nobody says the Rock gonna be the Rock gonna be brick. Uh, hashtag Jiggy merch. What's up, Jack? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, and Gideon says Niche is smooth side chick. <laughs> Don't do that. Wow. That man is married. Don't do that. Yeah. Uh, and four, four horsemen of the apocalypse donated two dollars. Appreciate that. And I can't see anything else because my internet is still down. I went to my phone and my internet Ooh, is still. Somebody down, dropped so I a fifty dollar donation. That might be. I can't see it. Internet still Doom, down. Hold on, hold on. Doom, you, Square Enix should ditch Avengers and go back to Deus Ex. I agree. I agree. They lost way too much money to get rid of that game. I'm gonna read the rest of ones you do. Said, I just uh, want to apologize. I, I I do want to apologize for my internet. I am in the bandwidth ghetto, y'all. Y'all gotta forgive me. I'm working on getting out of this ghetto. Yo, BG got rats sending the pa the internet packets back and forth. <laughs> they gotta carry the data on their back. Hold on, which one you last one you read about the? Uh, let me see, Nisha. Okay, the Gideon, last one I read was Nisha. Yeah. All right, Gideon said those V Day plans though. That's why they call you Jack. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Uh, CeeLo said Jack gonna be flopping up and down on his creaky bed. Possibly. Uh, Alex PSX said, I am bread sounds better than the media. Sheesh. I think that's all of them, yeah. Okay. Um, that creaky bed comment got me weak as fuck, but keep going. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, that's the show. Apologize for the technical difficulties. And, uh, yeah, we won't be here the next two weeks, it seems, because nobody wants to be here uh, on Valentine's
Valentine's Day and next week the Super Bowl. So we'll see y'all in three weeks. Um, maybe if I curse out Optimum tomorrow, they'll do something about my internet and in three weeks it'll be better. Who knows? Or, or you could podcast it Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> mm, I uh, I, yeah, and and I don't think there's nothing urgent that we have to talk about over the next two weeks, is there? I mean, I think no. we'll be, unless something I think, major I think, happens. Yeah, yeah. If something crazy happened, maybe we can. Yeah, you know I mean. But uh, we definitely doing this after dark. BG. Hello. B- BG. He hung up the phone. All right. Have a good night then. <laughs> Anybody got an outro they want to do, man? I'm about to turn shit off. Damn. I'm like, I, I got kicked out even on my phone? What's good yeah, with you, my, my, my dude? There might be something wrong with uh, Discord, bro. Oh, man. I'm just, I'm just down bad, bro. I'm down bad. Anyway, well, y- y'all can do outros. Um, we're doing the After Dark later, right, BJ? We got to talk. We got to talk about something with After Dark. Um, we got to discuss something. But yeah. Right, so uh, we doing After Dark then. Yeah, Black no, no, Bond, no, no, no. I'll catch you guys on the After Dark. I'm going to grab something to eat real quick. I will be back. All right, uh, Jack. Appreciate y'all boys for watching. Uh, Jiggy, Mer- I, I now own JiggyMerch.com URL, <laughs> okay? So now I ain't got to get y'all this long ass link, Teespring slash code and all this other stuff. JiggyMerch.com. I right, get in tune. The new run of Jiggy Ski Mask will be coming. Ironically, they won't be on the goddamn site, but listen, they're going to be here, okay? Get in tune. I love y'all. No, I don't. I'm just JiggyMerch.com. Right. Yes, sir. We out. So right, I can't smooth. believe I got to pay for that shit. What's up, everybody? <laughs> uh, we will see you guys uh, in a few weeks. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Uh, Dre? Uh, thank you for thank you all for letting me come on. Uh, it was nice meeting you all virtually. Um, I'm just on Twitter uh, un- underscore notorious dre and um, let's talk games podcast with me and Kiss Move uh, Fridays at 7 p.m. EST. Hey boy, hey bro, your voice deep as shit. You sound like a demon, my guy. You good? <laughs> yeah, that's hey, just you, the way I talk, man. <laughs> you, you you a new member on Planet Xbox show? Because I saw you on there too. <laughs> No, nah, me and Smooth just got a Let's Talk Games podcast I'm a, Fridays. I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to keep it 100 with you, Dre. Um, I listen mm-hmm. to Planet Xbox every week, and they need all the help they can get, my G. So. Oh, no, they good. Yeah, no, I, I no, listen they, to Planet no, no, Xbox. No, they, no, they not. <laughs> just, just consider. That's all I'm asking. Just consider. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys for uh, um, letting me come on. Jack, this URL link is broken, bro. It's not. Uh, a... Is it still fucking up, yo? Yeah, it's like, sorry, uh, uh, www.jingymerks.com could not be found. Is this still fucking uh, up? J- God damn it. Okay. Jimmy? Yo, what's up, man? Jimmy Mega Games. Everybody enjoy your weekend. And uh, the rest of the weekend be safe in the snow. Peace. All right. And Mocha? Goodbye, everybody. Um, Support Jiggy Merch. Support Weapon Will Patreon. And we will see y'all in three weeks. All right. Jack, you can shut it down. All right, y'all. We're going to holler at y'all, boys, man. I-